All right, today we're going to be doing a video on Cogates with one of my friends. Um, I guess I'll let him introduce himself. Yeah, hello everyone. I'm uh, Giovanni, I'm Vanni on MTGO, and I play in Italy. And uh, I always talk with uh, Gian, Gavin, if I can call you that, uh, over the familiar Discord, mostly. <laughs> All right, sounds we good. Are, yeah, we are fellow Cogate enjoyer, right? <laughs> yes, absolutely. All right, so we're going to take this deck through a league. Um, I think most of the slots are pretty stock. Like, it's pretty hard to change most of the slots in the deck. Um, I th would you agree with that or no? Yeah, mostly. Uh, you can change uh, Downbringer Clerics. I think those are the only two slot and uh, Spell Pierce. If you need mo more space, you can change for Dispel. But uh, they are very minimal changes. They don't change much, I think. Okay. Um, and then, yeah, we just have the Hydras in the sideboard, Red Blast in the sideboard, Dust Dust in the sideboard. Um, and then I think we'll just stick with these three, the two Dispel, one Remove Soul, and the Flex slots um, for Gardens. And then if we end up running into Mono Red, we'll hopefully just be able to beat them with the, the four Hydra Blasts. Does that, does that sound good? It, it sounds good. All right. Let's go. Oh, All right, we're against Luffy. So yeah. All right, so we're obviously going to Mulligan. Okay. Luffy's on six as well. So I want to bottom an island here. What do you think about that? Yeah, I agree. Or I think it's between one of these two, right? But you bottom the island. No island. Uh, you could bottom strands, but it's good if you draw the modern age. Yeah. Okay, they're on blue white affinity, it looks like. I'm just gonna play this. That's a good draw. This is a really good draw, yeah. Since we're on the play, we're just going to cast a Squadron Knock off the Basilisk Gate here, right? Yeah. Oh, that's really bad. Yeah, 100% we will. <laughs> I like to cast the Squadron Knock as soon as possible to try to mitigate the, the risk of drawing these. Yeah, same. As soon as you can. Uh, if you can not go to this card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I like playing the Modern Age. Like Ideally, you play the Modern Age on turn 2 because it lets you not go to discard with the um, Squadron Knock. All right, so what are we doing here? It's not a nice turn, but I think we need to go Island, Brainstorm, and then cast Squadron Rock. Hmm, let me think. Yeah, I think that makes sense. I mean, the Strands is going to be really bad versus their deck overall, so... Yeah. And from next turn, we start uh, having things to do. And we're just discarding the Strands, right? Yeah. Attack for one. Yeah. Usually you don't do this, but uh, we expect them to kill us uh, fast, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you? How much of this matchup have you played? I don't know, because last two weeks they've been studying for university exams and they haven't touched uh, MTGO. Okay. So, but I've played like, uh, I don't know, 15 games, I think. Not much, really. 15 games against this deck? Or total overall? Yeah, overall. I kind of just want to play the Guardian off the Basilisk Gate here, right? Or do we have to hold up Counterspell? I'm thinking about it. So he has five cards. What? So, no, I think if um, if he uh, equip, can he go equip unblockable? Yeah, he can. He so probably we have to hold up the counter. Yeah, we, we have to hold the counter. Let's play attack lands. Certain, we win. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, play it. And then do we attack with either of these or just one or we hold them i probably I probably just hold them both back one. right no we can attack with one i think uh, we block the one uh, he doesn't give uh, unblockable right and if, if he's uh, if he ninja uh, if he has ninja we can uh, flashback strands not let him draw yep yep <laughs> <coughs> yeah. yeah i don't think that if they have all the glitters, they're probably not going to play it into the counter, but you still have to hold it up, obviously. Yeah. Because uh, if we had Journey, we could just uh, move on. But yeah. Not yet. We risk to die before we find it. So... Okay, so let... <laughs> hmm. They could have more of so, these, too. Uh, 
Yeah, like my question is, how much affinity did he add last turn? He could already cast it. Yes. I don't. He didn't play a land. Let's no, see. They played. Land. They played a land, and they it's turn five, so they missed their land drops, right? So I think it's possible they have more of these in their hand, right? Yeah. I don't think we can counter it, but. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Because we are even more dead to glitter, but uh, it's not looking good. Yeah, gonna need another. Like, we have to go for the cat. Maybe we can raise. No, I still wait. We are dead anyway. If they. Yeah. Have... At some point, we have to start countering stuff because if they have glitters, then we just die. Yeah. Our creatures are too small to be blocking the enforcers. Is the problem. Okay. So we take four. So we just cast okay. Brainstorm, right? Try to find some journeys. Yes, 100%. Mm -hmm. hmm. Okay, so one hawk goes back, and then... Hmm. Uh, I think we need to deploy Cat to start gaining life. So I think you can send back the Guardian. <coughs> so if we put back the Guardian, and we go play the Island, play the Hawk, hold up Counterspell, or are we playing the Cat? Because, like... If we play both the Hawk and the Sacred Cat, we can't hold up Counterspell on this turn, right? Yeah, I, yeah. I was thinking about uh, uh, playing, uh, not playing the Hawks this turn. Just leaving so, this, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, but we can also put back uh, Hawk Hawk. Let, let's fi figure out the lines. So if he has Glitter, he goes Glitter on uh, ginger brute and get him for uh, 5 plus 4 uh, plus 5 so it's uh, ele 11 so we we die if he has glitter so we have to yeah. that card and uh, if he attacks with everything we take 12 if we don't block and we go to one and then how much we can gain with sacred cat uh, it's five. gonna be yeah not a lot but we can cast journey uh, so I think uh, um, we put back uh, both hooks and go island uh, cat. No, island uh, island journey. Island journey. Yeah, that uses their mana more efficiently. The second card we put back doesn't really matter, right? Because we're not casting it this turn. Yeah. Let's yeah. put back the two hawks. Yeah, I think I think I like that line because we have to hold up the counter spell at this point. If we had yeah. countered the mirror enforcer, we would maybe be able to not, but. Yeah, but we re we we would uh, just die to ginger boot if we counter it to glitter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Counter, of course, so. Right, but at some point so. we might just die anyways, even if they don't have glitters, right? So it seems unlikely, but yeah. certainly possible. So they have rebuke Where here. Okay. Do we have to count? I mean, are we beating this board with no glitters? No, we have to counter it. I just hope they don't have it. Yeah. Yeah. At this point, yes. He probably has it, and that's why he casted it. Yeah. So and then we attack for one, right? No, I, th I think we... Oh, oh wait, wait, wait. Because we're dead we to glitters that. if I have it. Yeah, we have double pump. We have double pump. No, because I wanted to trade with Frogmite this turn. Mm hmm. So if they, attack, so if they attack with everything, we double block the frog. Take six. Yeah. Yes. Sure, that's Next fine. Turn. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, next turn we go Cat, uh, Oak, uh, and uh, we will count the mana next turn. Yeah, next turn we're probably going Hawk and then Preordain and then Cat, and then... Yeah. But probably, I, my guess is we're just dead to Glitters here. Yeah, we are. We are. We use the counter. Let's see if he has it. Nope. Okay, All right. Not yet. <laughs> not dead yet. All right, so we're double blocking here. Going to take six. Yeah. So we're definitely just going to go squadron hawk and then preordain, right? Uh, first squadron hawk for sure. Yeah. So let's do this. Well, if we're going to cast preordain, I guess the other option is to cast the guardian, right? No, the 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 option I I was considering is going uh, is. Uh... But we don't have the second white, so we can. Yeah, so you just start with. If you're gonna play the cat, you're just gonna start with Preordain, right? Yeah, start with Preordain. Maybe we find uh, a plane. Okay, that's not okay. planes. So we definitely don't want the Seagate. I think we want the Journey. No. 
And are we going to cast it this turn? I guess we probably are, right? Yes. It's yes. better than playing the cat. Yeah, still that two glitter, but we have to cast it. Yeah. All right. And then we're just going to play the tap land, right? Yeah, call white uh, with the tap land. Yep. So wait, uh, if we take four, then he goes uh, ginger boot, we go to one. We do 11. I I'm thinking if... Uh, if I think we we're supposed to chop block, right? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Not to die to third uh, ginger boot. So yeah, we go to... If we don't block, we take... Yeah, we die to ginger boot or we have the strands for the ninja. So I think yeah, we're, yeah, we I think we're supposed to block, block. yeah. That's useful. Okay. So I think we're definitely playing the cat this turn, cast. right? Yes. Cast. Uh, so we're gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven okay. mana. Can we go cast off guardian? Yes. Seven. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, we just dump our end, and hopefully yeah. one more turn. Is there a we sequencing? Reset. We probably want to play the guardian first in case they have rebuke. I don't think they have rebuke because they would have played it, but yeah, let's do this mm -hmm. first. And then play the cat. And then play the hawk. Yeah, I didn't even think about the rebuke, but you're right. I, I'm thinking how to stay alive. <laughs> well, I don't think they have rebuke. I think they would have played it if that was um, a card that they had, but it's possible they drew it for turn, I guess. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I agree. And also... It was important to chum block there because otherwise, uh, if they draw ginger boot, we are just dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's like obvious mistake. No, because sometimes uh, I play fast and uh, I, I realize my mistakes after. Yeah, same. I wonder what's the last land. Why did they only? Ninja. Interesting. So we're just gonna pump the cat twice. I would imagine here. It's not like they have removal. No, no, because they, they, they go block suck. Oh, with the ginger root, so, right. That's why they hold it back. So, how many artifacts do they have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, we are dead. all the glitters is 11 damage. Yeah. I, w I was wondering if Dombringer saved us, but it doesn't. So, I think we pump... Uh, um, One on each of these, right? Yes. Yes. I. By the way, wait, let's count. 6... Uh, Next turn, if is he dead? So next turn, this okay. attacks for eleven. So eleven plus six is not enough. So should we pump this twice? Yeah, I think we should pump this twice because uh, we are dead to ginger brute uh, glitter anyway. And, yeah, uh, and it's a two turn clock. Like a... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This... this line lose to ornithopter. Yeah. Enough. Well, no, because if they go Ornithopter and attack for two, then we can attack with the cat, right? And they won't have a way no, to... No, they can't attack for two, but um, should we... Uh, so, because we, we can make them use the both Ginger Brutes. Yeah, so... If they gain six, uh, is it enough still? If they crack both Ginger Brutes, they go... Oh, it's not, right? Yeah, so pump the cat also. Yeah. Well, both. yeah. I was thinking if we pump up, double pump the hawk and attack, and they draw Ornithopter and they attack us for two to try to get a two turn clock, we can just attack back with the cat, but they're not going to do that. Yeah. This just forces them to eat the ginger root. Yeah. 6612, uh, practical. Plus six. No, it was. Uh... I think ah uh, no no. Was it lethal through six damage? I don't think oh, no, no. I don't think so. It was not it was one short. <laughs> one short. Damn. I should have counted that closer then. I thought for sure it wasn't lethal. Just one short. Well we could do it uh, hoping to top deck uh, hoping to top deck uh, Okay, so they can they still have two mana, so they can still eat the ginger brute for damage. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Of course Luffy doesn't sleep up. Oh they just conceded. I feel like they should not have conceded there, right? 
Well, if they they use Ginger Brute to block, then they don't they have can. a way to win. Yeah. Well, they could draw Thoughtcast into Ginger Brute plus um, yeah, all the glitters, had, right? Uh, they, yeah, they had the so called uh, Radio Cow. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we're definitely bringing in four Dust to Dust. I know you said you bring in four Red Blast, but I feel like that might be overkill. I don't know. It just seems so hard to hold up red mana on my opponent's turn for the, the sorceries. But they both have uh, card draws and protection. Yeah, I guess you can start, you can fight over the... Um... Start, yeah, but let's start uh, casting the bad cards. Okay, so, so Strands is bad. And Guardian also. Guardians are bad, yeah. yeah. I think if we're bringing in both of these, we should probably trim on Counterspells, because it's going to be hard to cast Dust to Dust, Red Blast, and Counterspell, right? Or is it just too good? I would uh, see if I can uh, cut other bad cards. Yes, I cut the Modern Age because we cut strands. Yeah. So they are trunk in the hand. Uh, I don't think we want this. No. And that's clean. Yeah. I think. I don't think. I don't think. Definitely, definitely don't want Room Soul. I think the spell is way too narrow. It only hits Rebuke, right? So. Yeah. Too narrow. Yeah. Uh, remove souls. You could, uh, you could argue for Ginger Group because it's very annoying, but. Uh... I feel it's like not it's not where we, where we <laughs> want to be. Yeah, I, I'm very worried when I board like this that I won't be able to cast Counterspell, Red Blast, and Dust to Dust because it's sort of like double white plus double blue plus Same. red is hard, but Same. the cards but are powerful, so... Are, ...are still better than the others, right, than, that we cast. Yeah. This does not seem like a keep to me, but... But we have Preordain, and we are in the draw. <laughs> yeah. I, I think I keep... I feel like if we had a journey, I would keep... I guess we have Dawnbringer Cleric, which can destroy the, um... Can destroy the... All the Glitters? But the, I feel like the way this plays out is, like... Hmm... We have four draws to see the other land, and then we can go the Modern Age. We also have... Uh, I think I, I would probably keep... Like, uh, if we draw three lands... Yeah, like, uh, if we see three lands, uh, this is a good land, right? What, okay. What would you look for? Well, three I feel like I, I feel like in the post-board games where we have four Dust to Dust in our deck, and we're on the draw, like, just going tap land and then turn two Preordain seems very weak to me, but... But what other play would you make turn two? I mean, you can cast Journey to Nowhere, hold up a Counterspell... I mean, yeah, I, I guess you're kind of right that that requires um, untapped mana, but... Yeah, like holding up counter spell is hard, and Journey to Nowhere you would cast it, but probably they don't cast a creature you want to cast Journey to Nowhere. Yeah, it would like, only be the Enforcer, really. Yes, so you wouldn't go Journey to Nowhere. So I think uh, this is a, not a good keep because we need uh, more lands, <laughs> but uh, we can keep it. All right, I think it's reasonable. I think I would mulligan this just because I have Dusted Dust in my deck, but yeah, but we we will draw it. <laughs> well, I mean, we'll draw it at some point for <laughs> sure, but the question is, will we draw it before we die? Yeah, no. It's fine. And if they, like, go... If they rebuke this, we're just so dead, but... Yeah, if they rebuke this, we are dead. <laughs> but it's fine. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. This but... is true, this is true. Yeah, sometimes you have to, you have to take risks. Because... Um... I don't know, like, there are... S we risk to go to zero landers, or... Mm. You see? Uh, yeah. Easy. Yeah, I do agree <laughs> that, like, when you mulligan, like, I don't know, there's maybe a 20% chance you just lose on the spot, right? Maybe not 20%, yeah. maybe lower than that, because you just... If you hit no lands for two more hands, then you're, you're just done. So I think we want to hold up counter here, right? Or do I'm we want really to alert. try to look for more lands? This is a spot where we should think, so... Those red elemental blasts aren't doing anything right now. Yeah. So it's good to discard them. And uh, what would they cast? Uh, turn two that you would uh, counter. Turn three. Yeah. Well, I think based on this play, they probably have like a counter spell or two. Probably maybe like a turn aside, and then they probably have enforcers. Right. That's what I. Yeah. So yeah. We should de develop right. Yeah. They can go. You you think on top land the top three mana they go enforcer? No. Yeah. I think I think playing this is better because we need to hit more lands anyways. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I agree. We'll just probably just discard because a red blast. Uh, yeah. 
if we had more lands holding up the counter spell i think it's good but we don't have more yeah. lands so yeah if we had the more lands i would have all the yeah three mana enforcer three mana enforcer <laughs> uh nope I thought cast okay <laughs> two mana enforcer two mana yeah and yeah we need to find another white source for the dust okay okay so let's do <coughs> Say that again? No, no, uh, but uh, yes, red elemental blast. Yeah. And then we just have to cast Preordain to try to find a land here, right? I'm not sure because uh, not uh, taking four is kind of good. Not taking four okay. is good. And we do have an answer to the glitters later. Hmm. Yeah, I would uh, go journey now. Okay. The way the way I think about this is that like I want to set up Dust to Dust this, and missing my lane drop is really bad, but this seems it reasonable. Really bad, yeah. But this journey is uh, you know, he's tap out uh, is the... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Too good. You don't often get opportunities like that. Yeah. It's fine. We'll draw the one basic planes. So now we're they're just going to have rebuke and we're going to die. Oh no, Do they just have lethal here. 19. All right. Not lethal. <laughs> Go to one. <laughs> Very cool. Basic planes off the top? No, no basic planes. Okay. Play cleric. Destroy one? No. No. That doesn't seem very productive. No, preordain. The problem is that if we cast preordain and we don't find a blocker, then we just die, but. No. Yeah. I guess we have to, right? Do we have other lines? I don't, yeah. So what what are we going to preordain into? We're going to preordain into, like, Sacred Cat and... I mean, how do we how do, how do we ever win this game yet? I guess Brainstorm and then draw, like... Yeah, yes, see, perfect. see now we're just dead. No, 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 no. Oh. No, because we can't... Oh, I guess we could, like... keep the untap yeah, land and then cast the Cleric? Yes. Oh, the Planes was good. Yeah, 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 okay. No. Well, now you can concede, I think. Yeah, you're right. We, I, I'm not saying we would have won, <laughs> yeah, but there was a way to live there. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, you're, was, you're right. Yeah, it was a red you cow. All right. Th this is a mulligan, though, right? Yes, sure, surely. Yeah, okay. Yes. Okay, this is this is very good. Uh, I want to bottom my we... cat. Mm, I think I bought the red elemental blast because we have to call... Uh, yeah, uh, if we... What I want to do is put we... red on this, right? That loot makes us... Makes so we can't cast counterspell, but... No, yeah, you're right. I feel like the but cat I... is not doing very much here. Yeah, no, we can't bottom the cat because the cat is the plan, right? We if we go dust to dust and then we gain life with cat, then we win. Well, the plan. Well, I mean, that is true, but I feel like the plan is to exchange resources and then just kill them with whatever we have left over, right? Yeah, okay. okay. Let, let's bottom the cat. You, you convince me. And then we're gonna start. I'm just gonna start with the this on. So I'm gonna start with this on red so that I can counter their card on turn two. Yeah. Yeah. We can go anyway, Basisk, uh, Hawk, and do. We want, but we could. <laughs> yeah. So I think we're going to, hopefully they'll cast a Thought Cast or a, um, an Elven Mind or a Ninja on turn two. Oh, they didn't. Okay. Okay. If we draw Counterspell, yeah. we're going we're gonna to be very sad here, but... <laughs> Damn. So now they can have um, no no rebuke, but they can have. Um... Oh, we just go. I think we just dust the two lands here. You think so? I, I would go squadron oak. <laughs> so, here's the thing. Next turn. What are we doing? I guess we could force them to hold up mana. The thing is that if we wait longer, it makes the rebukes. It turns on the rebukes, right? Okay. Like currently, the only card they can the only card they can have is um, turn aside, right? It's true. And I think if we had, like, if this was a planes or something, we could wait till next turn and do Dust to Dust with Red Blast backup. But because we have colorless lands, that's not going to be an option. Right? We could go brainstorm, find the land, uh, and then cast uh, Squadron Oak, and then go. Mm. Oh, no, because I don't really like that idea. Because I think what. We cast Dust to Dust. If they don't counter it, we just win. If they do counter it, next turn we go Squadron Hawk and hold up Red Blast. The turn after that, we brainstorm with Red Blast backup. Like, okay. probably this gets countered, but if it doesn't, then we're in really good shape. 
I would have uh, not cast it. <laughs> I would have waited. But uh, I can see, like, uh, I was discuss discussing with uh, Bragiotto, you know? Yeah. And uh, he just goes for it. Well, never, I, I think there's also a risk, like, if we draw another Dust to Dust, we're going to be really sad if we don't go for this, right? Yeah, that's true. That's true. But uh, I can see... I, I still uh, don't know what is right. Uh, I can see both sides. Uh, yeah. He He's on your side, and uh, he is a better player than me, as you see. <laughs> <laughs> well, if this, if we, if like, if this was a, a spell pierce and this was an island, I would 100% just uh, wait because I have a plan for when I can cast it with backup next turn, right? But as it stands, we have no plan. Okay, so here we're going to cast Squadron Hawk off the Seagate. And then hold up Red Blast. I don't really see a reason to kill this on the main phase, do you? Uh, no. No, we don't have. Because I can use this we as a defense just... for the Brainstorm at some point. I guess we have two of the Brainstorms, but... But also, if you attack, uh, we can just block. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they have no rem removal, so... Much. If they play, like, an Ornithopter, I kind of want to kill this in response, because they have of one mind in their deck. Like, the reason to kill this main phase is to shut them off of mana with the Springleaf Drum, but... Okay, so we're countering this. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we only have one blue source. New brainstorm. We'll find more. There we go. And then we're just gonna play the guild gate, I think. I don't think it matters that much though. I always like to sequence it. Uh, we should attack for one because we're not going to trouble yeah, the frog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always like to sequence it where I play my guild gates first, then my uh, citadel gate second, and my seagate third because you want us to put your splash color on the seagate most of the time. Is that yeah, something you do right. or? Yeah, same. Always call red on seagate. Yeah, so you can cast counterspell. Yeah, and that's one of the things that uh, help you most. <laughs> that's okay. The journey. We're just going to trouble block the journey. Yeah. Uh, okay, they are not even holding up uh, anything, so... Okay, so... Oh. We, if we cast Journey off of these two, we will have... Oh, we should cast off yeah these two, right? Yeah. Because oh, we can wait, pay for wait, Rebuke. Wait, wait. They don't have Rebuke up. I think oh, they don't have it, yeah. Blast it. We can keep Journey for the next. Right? That's true, yeah. Because you can't, you can't Red Blast the Ginger Brute. Yeah. So, if we're going to do that, we should start with Brainstorm, right? Because they're tapped out. Mm. Like if you're if we're gonna cast brainstorm this turn, we should cast it as the first card. But uh, will we? Um, because uh, we want to pump because it's a lethal next turn, right? So let's see. We red blast this, play tap land, pump for six, so it's seven damage, and the next turn it's lethal. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Yeah. I can see that the different play styles are definitely. Um, I want to win. <laughs> you want you want to kill them, and I'm just like, oh, we'll kill them at some point later. I just want to get value with my brainstorm. Yeah. But also, you can go end of turn brainstorm with just walk in hand. Yeah, you can, but then you get less information on what you're going to shuffle away as your last card, right? Because you get to shuffle away one card here. Yeah, but we no, uh, you put the back uh, bot uh, hooks, right? Well, okay, so... Yeah. Let's stop here, because we'll discuss about this. So... I often... Go ahead. Yeah, the second brainstorm, or if I draw natural two hooks, I often go end of turn brainstorm to save up mana since we have all tap lands, and uh, put back two hooks to shuffle the one back. That's what I do often. It's true that you have less information, but here, like, uh, uh, you don't need the uh, informations, right? Because it's not gonna be a long game. Uh, yeah. I, well, we just kill them here, but I think. And even if they have, um, I guess we don't have mana to journey and double pump if they draw Ornithopter, but I think generally what I do is I cast Brainstorm, and then I put back one Hawk and one other card, and then I use the Squadron Hawk to shuffle away the other card and draw the last Hawk, and if I wait till my own turn, I get more information as to which of the one card I want to shuffle away, right? Does that make sense, or...? It makes sense, and uh, I do it uh, if I expect it to be, like, grindy. Right, like uh, if we were, uh, we had the two hawks and brainstorm, uh, and we were playing against uh, uh, like uh, garden, 
Right. So if you could draw a, a land, you wouldn't want it, and you can shuffle it back. And that's right, right? Yeah. But for example here, if you go end of turn brainstorm, then you can untap and go both journey, Ita or Nitopter, for example, and then go for Lethal. Do we have mana for that? One, two, three, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. We don't have mana for that, right? Because it costs six mana to double pump and two for this. And okay, we, we do right. one mana short. Maybe you can go like one cat of the, you know, you can cast one cat. Yeah, the, yeah. Or... I do understand you get more mana if you do it on the end step, but you get less, Um, like the value is yeah, not yeah. quite as good. So I often do it also because also when they could counter it, if you go end of turn, they they hardly counter it. Oh yeah, they're never going to counter it on, if you do it on their end step, yeah. And I really want to shuffle back my hooks if I have it two in hands, right? Yeah. So I often go end of turn, counter it if you wish, but <laughs> yeah, you know it's a bad one. <laughs> yeah, but you know, um, okay, no, let's move to this game and then we can. Because something I, I often feel when playing uh, Colgate after the games, even if I lose, it's like uh, thinking back, I had the opportunity to win and I often find a mistake. Yeah. So in the future, I want to try to play slower and uh, all, uh, like not make mistakes. So I think we're keeping this end right on the draw with a brainstorm, two lands. I mean, obviously you wish yeah. this was not a keep game. No, but, but it's okay if we draw another... All right, gardens. Okay, so this is not a really, really good hand versus garden because we need the yeah the hooks. the journey to nowhere is not very good here. It's not going to be useful for a long time. Yeah, also like uh, I I like to put creatures on the board so that uh, they can't just land initiative. They have to take care of them. Yeah, first. But uh, it is what it is. It is what it is. Another thing I often do is I hold uh, my Basis Gate. Okay, so here I want to hold up Spell Pierce, but I'm pretty sure we have to play this and discard the journey, right? How do you feel about that? Um, we are not getting good value off this. Like, we're not discarding a Strands or a Cat, but... No, I, I, I would wait at least one more turn to cast the Modern Age. Interesting. Can, because we can go Spell Pierce and Counter Spell, and we have, like three turn plays to do well okay my my fear is if we play the keep gate or the whatever we play whatever and pass and they have mm -hmm. um dispute they're just going to wait till our turn to cast dispute so we're not going to be able to use our mana at all for the turn cycle if we hold up spell pierce okay but i don't really want to discard journey right now you know because uh it's still a card it's not the best one but like we don't have anything to discard if i had the one cat yeah like not okay to pitch just one because uh, I think what most likely happens here if we pass is that they pass back and then we probably want to pass back again, right? Because yeah. we want to get the spell they cast on our own end step. And then, like, who's winning that game, really? I feel like that game is going to be hard to win, but... No, we are winning with keep gate. Yeah, okay. Let's try it. I think so. Not yet, because... Uh... Because journey, the the good target for journey is a uh, creep trap, in my opinion. And yeah. of course, Avenger Hunter, if they are uh, G one, uh, usually they don't have answers. But G two usually. So I, I want to spell pierce this. Most likely they have swamp and another dispute. But if they have that, they're not going to cast it on our turn, right? Yeah, yeah, go for it. And also, if they didn't have the second land, they want to cycle the blood. And here they can't. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <coughs> so they can't have monarch now but most lists don't run they run like what one monarch or something so we can just play basil skate to hold up counter spell right and then make a treasure if they don't do anything but uh, do we want to play basis or plane because with plane we have more color we can go journey spears and we don't reveal we have basis if next turn we have uh, yeah one... But I can envision a world where, like, what if we draw the... What if, like, the top three cards of our deck are all gates, right? In that world, we'd want to cast the Modern Age and discard the planes. I agree. I agree. So I'm going to play this. But, uh, hmm. but we could go journey... Oh, no, we don't have Pierce anymore. Yeah. No, it's fine. It's fine then. 
Okay, this is fine because we can just journey this, right? Yeah. They were gonna have an untapped black mana, but I think we're totally fine exchanging the um. Yeah, 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 yeah. The black, like if, even if they pop it, it's it's whatever. Yeah, yeah. Just make a, a treasure. treasure in the top. Yeah. Okay, so now. Do we cast Journey? We probably should just go Plains Journey off of Bustle Skate, right? Yeah, Plain Journey go. Because we next turn he can go Hunter and we want to do Counter Spell. Yeah. At some point we'll draw, like, we're looking for either a Cat or a Strands or a Hawk, right? Those are the three cards that yeah. would be good draws. Yeah. Land is fine because then we can, we can go, at one point, at some point we will go the Modern Age anyway. <laughs> Yeah. So, yeah. And here is counter <laughs> This play makes me think that they probably have another one. Do you, yeah. do you agree with that or no? What can you do? <laughs> yeah, well, that is how it goes. Okay. So I think at this point we have to cast the modern age, right? We just tap like this. Yeah. yeah. And then well we'll see. Let's see here. Mm. So we I think we need to keep this journey in our hand, right? Because they probably have another Avenging Hunter. I'm not sure because uh, we could go uh, double the Modern Age. Discard a Brainstorm, but we already have one in hand. I think we discard Journey and we go double the Modern Age and try to play to the board. And hope they don't have one next turn. If mm. they have one, we, we die anyway, right? Because they have like five turns, we can't skip yeah. it. So I don't think it's very useful to hold the journey now. Okay, sure. Yeah, I feel like we're very low odds to win this game right now, to be honest, but based on how they it played so far, all... but... Yeah, it, it all depends. Uh... Okay, Scarlet Beast. Because if they go, like, Avenging Hunter and then Crypt Rats the next turn, it's going to be, like, impossible to win. Yeah, but it all depends on their hand now. They they must have some removal also because they didn't play any. So oh, yeah, 100%. Or, uh, win. We have two squadron oak that flips. Uh, uh, All right, no hunter. Actually, they could they could play a land and play hunter off this. Yeah, they, they could still go hunter. They are looking for it. <laughs> I feel like they have. I feel like if I'm gonna play hunter into counter spell like this, it's probably because I have another one. But it's possible their hand is just fully removal spells, and that's why they they're just like, oh, I, I don't have any other good play. I'll just make the play I have. Okay, they pulse it back. Yes. Interesting. Also, it was a uh, empty board, so it was like really. It's it was like your dust to dust, right? Yeah. It was like uh, if they don't have it, we win. Okay, hey, we're just getting the yeah. island because we yeah, still have yeah. enough mana for brainstorm hawk. Hawk. Yeah. Is that true? Yeah. So we go brainstorm off, or so hawk off these. We don't actually don't have mana for brainstorm hawk. Hawk. On this card journey, then. Yeah. We will steal the initiative uh, fight with uh, strands. Okay. Uh, this cool. card. Okay. So then we're just gonna go squadron hawk, brainstorm squadron hawk. Yeah. The worry with that is if they cast crypt rats, then we're just super dead, right? They get like so no. much value off that. No, because we get uh, uh, to to the modern age next turn, uh, and they if they cast crypt rats, they can't go. Well, they just uh, they just go crypt rats pass, and then after these flip, they they just extra yeah, x equals three, and then we lose everything. But I still but think we have to do this. The, but they got uh, the hunter back, right? Yeah, they did get the hunter. I mean, the crypt rats is under here, but yeah. they they run more than one, right? They run no, like you... three, two. I think they would have cast it uh, last turn if we, they had it. That is not good. No, I think it's good. We have lands. <laughs> yeah. I just want to draw like a counter spell or a guardian or something. I know, but uh, they have a two, two turns clock, right? We attack next turn. Well, if they have no removal, then sure. But... No, no, of course, but then they will spend their mana in, re in, remo in casting removals, right? Yeah. I feel like okay. they, they just go, like, snuff out, and then they have Spinning Darkness or something. It's just impossible to win, but I suppose we'll see here. Because any black card turns on Spinning Darkness for them. Yeah, yeah. It's true. If they have Defile, uh, plus cast down, or Edict, uh, oh, that's bad. <laughs> That is not, a, not ideal. It's okay. They will definitely cast their remo removal spells before, before we get to our turn, yeah. yeah. <laughs> At least no Crypt Rats, so that's good. That was the worst case scenario, yeah. right? 
Yeah, we are not in a terrible position because we have uh, two the modern age flipping. Yeah. Ooh, counter spells a good draw. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so most likely we're just gonna bring back the cat and then hold up counter spell, right? Yeah. Uh, how much mana they have? Wait. Uh, one, two, seven. Seven. Wait. Possibly eight. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking about casting a squadron orc. It's bad into crypt rats. I think I don't think they have crypt rats. I mean, they could try to scry yeah. into it, but I think they would have made that play last turn if they had it. Yeah, and we have counter spell. I'm worried about uh, double edict. I don't want to sacrifice the modern age. Yeah, I can see that. It's mana efficient. Yeah, I play one. Okay. Play one. Also, like, I would uh, sacrifice uh, if they go double edict. Maybe I keep the cat. I'm not sure. Maybe. They are at 26, which makes things difficult. Yeah, they're going to scry. So they have four land behind. No. <laughs> <coughs> they probably have a lot of removal, that's my guess, but they put both on top. I think we have to counter Crypt Rats and like nothing else here. Zombies is fine. It does not do very much. No. Hmm. There's not there's no way we're countering this, right? I don't think so. It's so funny that they put this card in their deck when they have Crypt Rats to wipe the board. It's like such a not such a nonbo, but I know. But they want to go turn uh, for a hunter. Yeah, I understand. They don't have uh, many better ways. <laughs> so we're probably gonna make a treasure here, right? There's no way they have three free removal spells in their hand out of four cards. Yeah. Right. Just take it. If they have, there could be an... Mm. Yeah, there could be uh, an argument for double blocking with the vector glider, but uh, so, I don't like it. So we're gonna make a treasure here, right? Yeah. Okay. It's free. It's not free because they can have. Like, if they had like no, snuff I'm out, not... snuff out, snuff out, or snuff out, snuff out, spinning no. darkness, then we are dead anyway. But yeah. They have it. <laughs> uh, okay, so we're gonna pump probably, probably not the we... cat. Well, I guess we're getting it anyway, so. Maybe yeah, we, we want to gain some life. And hook. Yeah. And we attack with uh, three creatures. Like. Uh... Yeah, because this can block random dudes. Yeah. Pump the cat. Pump the hawk. Yeah, now we're very. If I didn't make a treasure, that would be a pretty bad mistake. So attack like this. Uh, wait, wait. Do we want to attack like this? Or do we want to hold back the vector glider? I'm, I'm thinking if we want to play around double snuff out. Hmm. Well, it'd have to be. We would. Uh, we probably just want to attack. We could, we could attack with everything just to try to race them, because we're gaining seven. Yeah, attack with everything. They're yeah. Probably yeah. All right. We, we won't block anyway. They will take the emblem. I mean, they're yeah. They're gonna take the emblem back anyways. Uh, let's see what happens here. Okay. They probably will block the cat with the thorn. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. Yeah. That's the right block. But we can kill them next turn, right? 7-7-14. Seven, seven, yes. Yeah, well, <laughs> against the decks with free remo removal spells, it seems so hard to try to go for that, but maybe um, maybe we will have to. We can. <laughs> it's just such a really bad exchange if you invest 6 mana into your creature and then they kill it for 0 mana. It's a complete disaster. But let's see what they do. They have 5 cards in hand. No snuff out yet. No spinning darkness either, so far. Hmm. They scribed both yeah. to the top, which means I don't know what that means, but uh, double removal, I guess. Cast down, cast down, cast down, snuff out. What's weird to me is they scribed both to the top, and then their best play was this card. But <laughs> I don't know. No, they probably have uh, snuff out, snuff out, or cast down, cast down. I guess. We really need. Mm, we're not going to counter a dispute, right? There's no way. No, no. 
no disputes countered here. <laughs> hmm. I'm thinking, what do we want to draw? You have to think about it because then. You yeah. Know. <laughs> I feel like another counter is good. Spell Pierce maybe is good because they're probably going to tap mana here. Guardian maybe is decent. I just oh, kind of want to kill them here, but. Yeah, I think Guardian wins. Probably. This gains them three life. So we're fine. still not countering this. Any, I don't think ever. No. We are not killing in one turn probably anyway because uh, they probably have a removal, right? So yeah, no use in countering that. We're not countering the this. The first is fine. No, yeah, the first is fine. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, Blood Fountain. Hmm. They get back uh, Crypt Traps next turn. There's no Crypt Traps. It's here, right? Oh, so it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. It's on their journey. Oh, man. I see. <laughs> Basisk from the top is the best draw. Really? If we draw Basilisk, are we, are we going to go for it, you think? I think so. I don't think we have a much better plays. Uh, so we're not, so we're not count, killing them. Count the mana. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. Plus, we can play an untapped land. So we could go so five, ten. six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think I want to double uh, pump because like if that. they go removal, uh, we want to at least one to go through. I kind of want to play a creature this turn, so I don't. I feel like casting Lorien this turn is not going to be our play. No, no, no. We we won't cast Lorien. We will double pump for sure. So that's six mana, right? So we have four more. Yeah. So then we cast so some creature in Counterspell and play a tap land. Yeah, probably Squadron Ox since it flies and we can fly over him next turn. Yeah. Because they're, what they're going to do is end of turn activate this, I would imagine, right? They get back Land of War Visionary and that's it. Yeah, and Thorn. So we're just going to play tap land, pump, pump, and pump I don't know if one on each. Because uh, do we have mana to go Squadron Ox, Counterspell? One, two, land? three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is six, seven, eight. Yeah, we do have to play the island if we want to go for Squadron Hawk Counterspell and Double Pump. So I you... think uh, we will play the island then, and but uh, not the Squadron Hawk. Maybe Cleric hit the, the Chainer. That is true. So let's. Well, I mean, we're we're just attacking first. So yeah, we're gonna pump here. Pump one on each, right? Just making sure. Yeah. Okay. If they have double removal, we wouldn't have one anyway, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. I think we're going to counter this, right? Mm, no. No, I think the first is fine. Okay. Hmm. I, I probably would have countered that, but I guess we'll see. Just because it's so much damage and uh, we invested a bunch of mana in that, but... But because uh, we can protect it next turn for lethal. If it was lethal, it would have protected it. So we're, we're just going to put two counters here, right? Well, it is lethal. Yeah. 7 plus 5 from the forge. I guess that requires us to keep... So yeah, we have to hit them anyway, so it's not lethal. <coughs> so do we ever scry here? No. We're just putting counters, I think. So no, we are racing. <laughs> if they find uh, removals, uh, we die. If and then we, we play the hawk because it flies? No, 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 no. I oh, we want to get the one. trainers. Okay, yes. sure. That's fine. Yeah, that makes sense to me. We also can go just uh, uh, second oak instead of counter spell. I, I think so. Really? Are you F6? No. Uh, because uh, we can uh, protect counter spell next turn, right? Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get a chance to use this. If they have two... Removals were just dead anyways, right? Because they'll just cast them both, yeah. and we'll counter one. Yeah, I think uh, Hawk uh, this turn is the play. Because, uh, you know why? Because we, we put uh, two counters on uh, on the first Hawk, so they have... Uh, they can't go, like, fumes kill both. Yeah, that's true. Crypt Rats is so good for them, though. Yeah. Have that, but... But it, we would lose any way to it. Yeah. We don't have a way to race it. Well, if it's if they have crit rats and no other removal spells, we can beat it, right? 
Okay, so we're not blocking. But uh, you know, crit threats should be a two off, while double removal is more. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, of course. More likely. And they can draw a removal on the end step, but they can't draw crit threats on the end step either. Yeah. So. I feel like if they would have cracked the crit threats in response to the journey, they probably would have won this game. For yeah. sure, but. But it's uh, very. <laughs> You know, a play that you make uh, thinking very hard. Yeah, you have you would have to think really far in advance. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe true fat, you know. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I feel like if you had played this matchup a ton, you probably would would have been able to figure that out. But okay, so cycle swamp is fine. I mean, if they had removed, they they would be using it now, right? So. Um, not certain because we have just one. Okay, wait. Let's count the mana again. So, so we have uh, six plus three, nine, right? One, two, three. Yeah, we currently have nine mana if we don't play land. So we don't have mana. We have six. Into we could pre it into spell pierce with the island, right? Because it's yeah, six so to I pump, think... and then seven, eight, nine, ten. It's worth doing. There's only one spell pierce left in the deck, but I feel like the game is ending on this turn, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because if we hit them with any creature, we win with trap, so. Yeah. Okay, bottom both. I don't think the third mm. gate does anything for us here. I think... Because uh, um... we're never triple pumping. I've, we only have two dudes, and they, they're both lethal, well, so. I would have kept... Um, I would have kept... Um, the the strength because if they had darkness we could cast, cast it but it's okay go uh bottom. go bottom we wouldn't have mana okay we got the strains anyway but we don't have mana for that right are we one short if we play the island we can yeah do play it. The island. okay sure i mean we're, we're still only holding up one piece of interaction no matter what we do so yeah although this can like yeah, help fight the Swing back, but I think we're pretty much dead if they ever hit us again, so. Because of the throne. Do you think so? Well, we, like, they, they have 10 they looks have... at a rats, and they have. Well, pump and go now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll see. Stalling. Stalling too much. So I think they're going to cast Spinning Darkness here. Cast down. Um, there's no reason to counter this because we're just killing them with the the hawk, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> also, we are playing allow uh, the edict, the instant speed one mana. It's that easy. <laughs> <laughs> that easy. I wonder. I wonder if they forgot about this or something. I guess they just had one, just one rule as well. Them. Yeah, the uh, the Giovanni strategy of killing the opponent. It, I feel like that's how you have to win I this mean, matchup because you can't exchange resources with this this deck. They just wait. What is this? Okay, so we we'll just counter this. Counter yeah, yeah. They and they can't draw more removal if they are dead, right? Yeah, that is true. All right, so I want to bring in these three cards and I want to bring out three strands. This is what I normally do here. What do you think about that? Because <laughs> strands only hits um, spinning darkness, and like it can help in combat, but it's usually not very useful. Yeah, I would agree mostly. Uh, I think I probably do the same often. We have two minutes to talk about it, so I think it's interesting to discuss. But I can see an argument for cutting peers, because it's bad in the. You know, but uh, probably no. And also Journey, because um, they put uh, for the Glamour in. Yeah, probably. this is true. These cards are both not very good. I think there's some, like, there's a lot of scenarios where your opponent taps out half their mana on their own turn, and then when you go to pump, you can defend your creature with a Spell Pierce. But I think, yeah, for the most part, this card's not very good. And Journey is actively terrible, but I think Prismatic Trance is worse. It's worst as a four off because um, i don't know because uh, it's still it uh, still in darkness for free right yeah but oftentimes like they're not just gonna cast spinning darkness i don't know it, mm. it it's it, it is free in some sense but 
you do kind of have to play weird to get it to actually resolve against many darkness i think no yes but since we want to keep all the, the modern age it's still a pitch yeah no, I, could, I could see like doing this yes that's what uh probably i would do because uh, we want to cast the modern age right and uh, yeah. you you saw how how hard it was before like uh, yeah definitely all right we're keeping this for sure right uh, three lands, yes. Looks good. Looks good. Dress time? Oh no, dress time. That's okay. Hmm. So next turn, I want to go Basilisk Gate and then hold up Spell Pierce and cycle Lorien off of the Basilisk Gate. What do you think about yeah. that? And then we're probably just finding the basic island, I would imagine. Oh. Unless uh, mm. unless we draw that, then we won't. Yeah, so now we don't need to cycle it. So do we just play no, we... the... Island or the island represent counterspell, yeah, yeah, make them scared. <laughs> oh, they go exhume. <laughs> can you imagine? Oh, that's good. We can cast why are they? Point. I don't know. Interesting. What does that mean no, about they... their hand? It's... No, they didn't have a okay, we're, land. we're definitely piercing this 100%. Yeah. No, no question. Yeah, they... They didn't have the land, that's why they did Well, they had at least one, because they're cycling the troll. So they probably don't have any more lands. Okay, so do we're, not, we're not cycling this, right? Uh, no. Okay, that's what not I'm yet. Talking. They don't have the green mana. So now we just exile the changer's edicts like this? I think so, yes. Yeah, I think they are missing green mana, and they have a green heavy hand, like they have the visionary and maybe the initiative guy. Yeah. That makes sense. They gonna dispute, you go dispel. Oh, this is so good. <laughs> this is this is just lining up really well. I think you're right. I think they have green cards in their hand, because otherwise I feel like these plays don't make a whole lot of sense. Yeah, they yeah. must have had. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah. Okay, so now oh, we just guild guild gate pass. Yeah, guild gate pass. <laughs> I don't really want to run this out. Ideally, we draw another untapped lands so who can just cast this. I don't think we're ever we're ever cycling this anymore. No. Yeah, there's no way we're no, brainstorming yeah. in response to that. I think uh, next turn, uh, if we draw, we don't draw anything good. We we might. I don't think we can cast the guardian. I think we might have to cast brainstorm here. Yeah. If. The time for the ugly brainstorm. Because we have two bad cards, so... Yeah. Alright, well, so now we just put these back, scry them both to the bottom, and then play the tap lands, or... Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Well, if we draw uh, Counterspell, we go Island, but it's okay. Yeah, 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 that's true. I'm a bit worried about... um initiative monarch they don't have green. monarch yeah because oh. initiative well. they have to have green for and they don't play on top green sources right do they do they well, still play one forest they don't right no but we will raise them anyway. yeah, that's the, that's their best play oh it's okay four mana still not five. Oh, okay yeah journey now would have been good <laughs> yeah, we could have put back the islands. Yeah, we may we maybe this probably was a mistake. I hope it won't cost us. Yeah, I think that was a mistake. So, I just feel like the fact that they discarded the change edict means they have another one. I don't like playing this. We just play the Lorian, right? Yeah. The problem with that yeah. is that they're they're just hundred percent gonna play initiative here, right? If we don't play the guardian. Yeah, but I think. Uh... We have time, and they can go Chainer Land uh, Initiative anyway, right? Yes, I think so. Yeah, I definitely think it was a mistake to put back the, the Journey to Nowhere. We should have put back the Islands. Especially because we yeah. brainstormed, and then we saw more cards. Like, we decided what we were putting back on the Brainstorm before we even cast it, which was a mistake, I think. Yeah. yeah. Well, you live and learn, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you're never going to play perfectly, but yeah. And also, I'm trying to go a bit faster because we're we're low on yeah, time yeah, yeah. and there's no there's no game three okay so here we're gonna have seven mana so we can go play these three cards the problem is that dispel doesn't actually help us against the edicts unfortunately we need to draw a creature yeah draw spadronok 
Damn. Mm. I think you cast it. We need a creature. Yeah. Dire Straits. Oh yes. god. Okay. So put back, put back uh, island uh, hit. And go both, both uh, guardian yeah, and, and, cleric. and cleric. Yeah. It's. Uh, it feels like they haven't. They only. Oh wait. They've only Two. played one removal. I feel like there's no oh. way. You can go the most. We still have time. I want to go modern age journey. Yeah, you can go the modern age journey. It's better. It's better. Go the Because we're not gonna. We're, there's no way we're getting through on this this turn cycle. Oh, I should have. I should have put the island on top. Oh, but uh, discard the citadel gate. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, and then doesn't matter. I want to hide this. So we'll play keep yeah. gate. Journey. And we can go also. Cleric? No. What? Was free. Uh, yes, we should have played cleric, probably. It's fine. We because uh, it's not uh, not not true maybe because uh, they they need to go removal on cleric to play edict and we and so we can play dispel. If uh, yeah. Monarch. So if they just went, uh, this is fine. It, it forces them to have more, like, they don't have that much mana, so it does choke their mana. Okay, now they have more mana. Never mind. No, but but it was fine, because otherwise they would have just casted the uh, cast down on Cleric, and we would have uh, this play in hand. Yeah. I don't know. I was right to not to play. Yeah, because we're going to have to... Yeah, I, I, I see what you're saying. We need to draw a creature here. Well, it's not a creature, but... Do we have mana for all this? One, two, three, four, one, two... Yeah. We can't cast all this. We're one going to be one mana short, but... Well, go Guardian and, uh, yeah. and Cleric first. Uh, you just exile one of these black cards, right? It really matters. Yeah. I'm gonna get two, actually. I don't think I don't think we're gonna be able to stop them from having black cards. Yeah. So here we don't counter the removal with this spell, I think. Yeah, we only counter edicts here. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. No, instead they had two mana, right? I think they only had one because they played the this. It seems uh, it feels like we're like zero percent chance to win this game, but. Nah. Because now we lose to duress edict. We lose to edict edict. We lose to. We lose to edict edict. Lots of stuff. And edict edict seems likely given that they ditched the first one, but. Can't beat everything, so. Wow. Yeah, can beat everything. They just don't have it. So they're gonna they're gonna flash back next turn. Yeah, no, because we have the modern age flipping. Yes. And we're gonna want to use dispel to defend the modern age. Yes, we will. We will use it. And we're gonna get an island off the under city, so do we have enough mana to double pump? One, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, yes. we do. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. So we're gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. So this costs three. So we do have enough mana with the island to cast both of these. So we're just gonna double pump, right? But we just. If we have enough mana, yes. Do we have? We do. We should have exactly we enough because we have nine, and it costs three plus three plus three. Yes. 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 Oh, okay. Double pump and. Uh, and uh, play the islands. Little next turn. <laughs> so now I think, yeah, they don't have enough mana to crack the rats and to flashback the edict, and they didn't have an edict last turn, so. Yeah, it's looking good. Yeah. I mean, uh, I don't know how likely it was to, for them to have so many edicts. Yeah. I don't think they discarded They They had two, probably, percent, but I don't think they discarded it because uh, they... They had three, just they needed the desperately the green. Yeah, maybe, yeah. but I feel like there's other cards you want to discard, but okay, so I'm gonna just dis dispel this for sure. Yeah. Sideboard cards coming through. Mm -hmm. It helps, <laughs> it works. Yeah. <laughs> 
It's okay. Oh uh, yeah, we already trapped, so there's no reason to block. Right? And one, two, three, four, yeah. We're very low, but we're not dead. Not dead. I guess they can't they would it would draw the game if they killed because we're both at seven, but <laughs> It's funny, I, I actually lost it in some games to Leo Bertucci because he uh, killed both of us. Uh, we went to G4. That's funny. Or G yeah, and they didn't, uh, you know, like, uh, had my bad PC, so it crashes all the time. So it oh, was no. Time. Oh, because you ran out of time. That's really sad. Yeah. If it was you, you probably would have won. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's a fast player, I think. So. Yeah, he is. He is, he is. I don't know. Being fast is also not uh, a good thing sometimes because you really do get a lot of benefit from thinking out what you're doing, no matter what you're 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 playing. Like even if you're playing a deck you know by heart, you do get a lot yeah. of benefit from thinking out what you do. I think. Yeah, I I sh I really want to try to make less mistake. I play slower, even if I start uh, at the beginning. Maybe I, I draw more. I think uh, thinking more about uh, the correct plays is important. Yeah, I see. Definitely. Like, I think I saw Nasif. He plays really slow in the, you know, at the beginning of the games when decisions matter a lot. Yeah, I mean, there is something to be said for like, um, I think like having intuition for what the correct play is is important, but you're never yeah, yeah, you're but... never gonna have full intuition for what the what the correct play is at all times. Little bit lucky, you. <laughs> Uh, the opponent was not so happy about that. That's okay. Yeah. I don't think we were especially lucky. <laughs> I don't know. Like we we didn't draw creature for like a long time. <laughs> yeah. All right. So this is a keep, right? Keep. Yeah. It, it is also a lot on uh, who the player is. You know, like uh, like Walker said, uh, he has. Uh, like 80 percent win rate versus terror but uh, he lost like twice uh, or to makachok over three games you know right 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 so like uh, and he's like a very experienced uh, player played standard when uh, you know he's like 10 years older than me i think so, right yeah. yeah he went to gps and stuff so yeah yeah so it's a lot on the player sometimes you feel like oh I can't lose, then you play against... Uh, it happened to me with uh, this deck and uh, fairies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I played against Rush. I played against Rush, and he destroyed me. <laughs> yeah, the fairy, they just make your play... They make your life awkward sometimes. It's really annoying. Um, So, they ponder no shuffle, ponder no shuffle. I just want to play the cat here. Uh, we for sure play the cat. I'm wondering if there is anything we counter with the pierce i don't think so this turn is no. better to hold counter spell pierce for terror i think most of the time they're just going to pass back to us anyways like yeah the, against this deck holding up counter magic for their turn is not the most effective plan because they just usually pass back to you anyways oh they have auger this is the um i think it's carves or something who made this deck it's like sort of a more mid-rangey version with auger bolas they play like a bounce land or two yeah it's okay so oh, land go. yeah let's play this <laughs> Yeah, so you know the experience on the matchup is very hard to tell. Uh, like, uh, and they would say the same for the like uh, meta game. Uh, you know, the the website that has uh, the matchup matrix. Yeah, I don't feel like that website is very accurate, but but it's hard to say if it's accurate uh, because um, you know depends a lot on the player from both sides. So. Uh, it's very hard to find the two equal, uh, you know, equally skilled players. That is true, yeah. I don't know. I feel like for like six, maybe it was like six or eight months, I had sideboard cards in my deck specifically for Luffy. Like, they were not for any anybody else. Like, normal affinity players I could beat, but not Luffy. He was just too good. Okay, so there's no point in playing this because we're going to have to go to no. discard. So we just play a tap line and pass again, right? Yeah, draw go. It's fine. We have land drops. I'm a bit we'll worried... Because they're going to, at some point, be able to just, like, dump a bunch of stuff on the board all at once, but... And we will play Guardian. <coughs> yes. I don't know. 
we don't have to do anything until we we have land drops. It's on them. One, two, three, four, five. They were checking. Okay, I think we're just letting this resolve. Yeah, sure. For life, uh, for half a cat. Hmm. Yeah, this we're gonna counter. Uh, the first one, do you think? Well, if we don't counter the first one, then then they can just pass, and then we we're yeah, super screwed. So. No counter. And if they have, if they counter back, then it's super good for us. Yeah, this is really good. I, I was worried about Pierce. They went to double Pierce, you know. Yeah, the way that I view, like, unless you can play around Pierce the entire game, I feel like it's best to play into it. And I don't think we're going to be able to play around Pierce the entire game here. Okay, so we're just casting Squadron Hawk, right? Uh, Clear. They have any cut. I mean, they. I used to think they played like one agony warp, right? But no, go guardian cat. Okay. Yeah, sure. And you can play the guard. Play the guardian. I think that um, if I had a basil skate, I would easily slam this, but. No, but uh, you know, it's very hard to resolve it. It's the only card they should, like, it's the card they should the most look out for. So I think if I can resolve it. I, I do it. Yeah, I'm just afraid because, oh, like, no, if they have any answers to this card, it's really bad for us. Like, okay, so now we're just going to go brainstorm, or sorry, hawk brainstorm, hawk, right? Yeah. Yeah. If we find a journey, I think we go journey. We go a hawk. It's, yeah, that is true. It's a turn. We need to find Basil's Gate, though. Yeah, Basil's Gate journey. Oh, uh, neither. Neither. Just go hook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just gonna play the tap lines. Uh, no, no, no. You want to cast Pyridine I think here? You go island. Yes. Okay. Because you gain a turn if you find Basilisk further. Okay. So do we yeah. want to keep the journey? I mean, they're gonna counter this, I think. But... They didn't play any counter spell. That one. You are right, but they must have. Uh... Counterspell. I mean, bottoming this is is just too greedy, though. Yeah, I think so. Just attack with the guardian and and go. Yeah. Maybe it's right to bottom. Hmm. I think I think it's way too greedy to bottom this because it's a card they have to counter. Obviously, Basil Skate is better because they can't counter it, but yeah, there must be a Basilisk. Uh, Main deck drown and sorrow. Yep. This is the the carb deck oh, list. They kill they kill their bird, which is funny. Yeah. We have creatures, so yeah, we can play around that X. Best trials are brainstorm, Basil's Gate, Modern Age. Yeah, we have a lot of good draws. Not the land. That is land. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to journey this and then play the Dawnbringer Cleric and then I guess play a Squadron Hawk as well? Yeah, we can shuffle land uh, back in the deck if we draw Brainstorm with this, the last hook. Yeah, and I don't think exiling a card does anything here, so I'm going to gain two life. Yeah. And race them. Seven turn clock. <laughs> yep. I mean, no, but yeah. This deck does play Monarch, so it's possible they have Monarch in their hand that's uh, stuck. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> that's the Monarch. I mean, if we ever draw, they do play Agony Warp, though, so if they ever draw that, then we're kind of sad, but. I mean, yeah. It's okay. If they do, they win. Uh, I mean, you know, it's like when. Yeah. Opponent starts with spear and you don't draw journey, you lose. Yeah, you just die. It's the game. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, game. attack with these two. Yeah. No, with the hook because they just block. Yeah. We don't need to play the cat yet. No, we can play the cat too. Which... I feel like this doesn't do very much. I'll just pass it because if we draw modern age, we'll want to discard it, right? I was thinking to jump block uh, Solar Endeavor. Mm. But uh, we don't need to yet. I think I want to wait one more turn because we're at 21. 
the next turn we, we can try block with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, Because if we draw Modern Age, I mean, yeah, I think most likely they have a Counterspell, but in the event that they don't have a Counterspell. They are racing. <laughs> hmm. I'm a bit worried about removal spell plus Edict now. I, I don't know exactly. I think they play like one Edict and one Agony Warp as their answers to the uh, the Guardian. Could have could be wrong about that. Okay. Okay. That's okay. I mean, that's oh, not the worst. Great. All right, so let's start by just attacking for two. Yeah. And then we're gonna and probably play. Uh, yeah, just the cat, and then no land. Yeah, let's play around fumes since it's three. Yeah. Probably what I want to do here is block the Thorn of the Cat and then cast Strands. Mm -hmm. Would you okay. Would you do the same? Yeah. yeah. I mean, casting Monarch against this our deck is really risky because the Strands just makes it very difficult yeah. to take back. Okay, so I want to let this resolve and then flash it back, right? Yeah, sure. They are desperate. <laughs> yeah. When you counter half of a half of a strand, it's always like <laughs> not great. Yeah, something is going bad. <laughs> Either it's lethal or something is not good good for you. Yeah. Okay, so now we counter oh. back. <laughs> mm, wait. Oh, you could uh, just let it go. You know. It's not doing anything uh, for them to do a six damage. Uh, I mean, they get the monarch back, but yeah. No, the cat. <laughs> not the cat. Are they one, good we they have one card left. Trans. It is good we use the strands, yeah. And they're dead. Oh, here it is. <laughs> Making us wait 25 cards in. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I had a top eight match versus Brivenix where there was no gate in the top forty cards. It was ridiculous. No Basil's gate specifically. <laughs> I, was, I was so I was so I was so mad about that match. Okay. Um, okay, so we definitely want the red blasts, and then probably the dispels, and then I don't really think removal yeah. soul is very good versus them. Although it does hit. Actually, we probably should bring it in since they're playing. Um... So do they play Gurmag? Yes. They play How many? <coughs> I think like three. The reason I want to keep this in is because they play um Murmuring Mystic and Monarch. And being able to counter the four drops is too good. It might just be too specific though, since I mean Red Red Blast hits the Mystic, but it doesn't hit the Monarch, so I don't know. I think it's fine, but uh, let's look at the bad cards. So if they have Gurmag, we have to cut the strands, even if it's good versus all the other everything else. Yeah. We, we want to cut, cut all four. Trends. And if we cut strands, so we have to cut a bit of the modern age. Yes, this so is true. Have a less bit. Okay, so we are at this point. And Darkburger yeah. Cleric is also yeah. not great, but. Yeah, no, no, not great. You're right. Cut the cleric. So we can keep uh, one of uh, something else if we want. Oh, yeah. wait, but do you think they, they have. Uh, how many chainers they have a sideboard? I have no idea. Hmm. Probably like well, one or two. More than two. If, if, if they have more than two, we can uh, bring back Cleric. If they don't, uh, it's fine like this, I think. Yeah. I mean, I think in general, Changing Edict is not good versus our deck. Like, no. It only is only good against one card and in a very specific scenario. So I think yeah, if yeah. they're boarding in Changing Edict, it's like we don't really care that much about that. I mean, but. Uh, I can see they also have to write because uh, maybe our deck is like uh, all good against them, so they have to board the uh, yeah. Uh, take care of the guardian. The plan I would probably take from their point of view is to try to just slam creatures really fast and try to get under us rather than boarding in more interactive cards that are like slow. But yeah, for sure. But sometimes I don't know. I also don't know their list because it does didn't look like average. Uh, no, this is like a weird list. They play Augur Bolas, they play like one or two bounce lands, they play a Bajuka Bog, they play um, hmm. 
Yeah, this is a weird. I've, pl I've played against this deck like three or four times. They play the weird cantrips too. I don't think. I, I, I'm thinking if uh, we should call red with Citadel Gate. Yeah, I think we should not because we have the Heap Gate and we have counter. Yeah, I, counter I, I agree. Uh, I still think we're supposed to put blue on this. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's very hard. Um... It's gonna kind of ruin our mana though if we name if we name red with this. Yeah, I think we can call uh, blue and go play sacred cat. Yes. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Was it me or you? I don't know. Was what? I didn't hear anything. Oh, you didn't hear. So maybe. Because uh, there was a uh, like, uh, Discord uh, pop-up notice. Oh, gotcha. Like sound. It was you then. Alright, so yeah, they're doing what I thought they are doing, which is trying to turbo out a creature. So we're probably going to have to just play Heapgate and pass. Maybe we can play another cat, but I want to hold up the red blast on this well, turn. Playing, uh, playing Heapgate and passing is good anyway, because we can make a treasure. Yeah, with the Spell Pierce, we're definitely not spending our mana. I'm just going to pass. How many do they have in the graveyard? Five. Five right now, yeah. yeah. It's pretty good. Yeah. So they tap two mana, they go serpent. We go reb, they go pierce. Hopefully, or reb. Hopefully they don't have double pierce. Oh, this is so good for us again. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Both this game and last game, the cards are just lining up quite nicely. Or last match, I mean. Yeah. It's, it's showing. Because uh, now we get to cast the uh, cast the hog. And then brood in. Should we? Yeah. <laughs> There's no way we're ever pumping here with four gates in play. There's no way. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. Sadly, no. Because, I don't know, the way that I think about it is that the longer you wait, the better the pump gets, right? So, and no, that's true. That's true. So we want to bottom the island and top the dispel? Uh, yeah, bottom the island, top the dispel. Like, yeah, the longer you wait, the better the pumps get. And also, the less, like, like if you spend your entire turn three pumping, that's horrible, because you've just wasted 100% of your mana for the turn. But in the late game, oh, like, yeah. it's the mana is worth less than it is in the early game. Yeah, yeah, but uh, it's uh, it was one of the spots uh, I told you. Like I, I'm trying to think more. Because, oh yeah. Uh, the obvious is uh, I'm just gonna uh, do what you did. But maybe is it right to pump here? No. But maybe in some other situation, you know, maybe you had uh, to turn lethal with with second basilisk. Yeah, it's probably worth thinking about. So what I want to do here is basilisk gate, pump the hawk, right? Or do we want to pump I the cat? Want, I want to pump the cat because uh, we we just uh, trade our removal and we connect with Hawk anyway. We play. Oh, it's actually good, yeah, because then we can just flat, return it and play Dispel. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine they have cast down here. That's the card I would guess mm -hmm. they're going to play, but. Yeah. And trading uh, a card for Alpha card is still good, right? Was I supposed to counter this? I just did that without thinking. Maybe that was bad. No, but it, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We're definitely not playing so, this. No. no. But uh, I was thinking um, now a land is very good. <laughs> yes. Now a land is very good. It's lethal, actually. <laughs> okay, so that is kind of sad. Now I wish I had, I had dispel, no, but. No, no, wait. Oh, it's never okay. mind. It's good. <laughs> uh, they hawk. No, no, they can't. I'm definitely sacrificing the cat because they already played their land for the turn. Yeah. Hmm. So if I go journey, I don't have enough mana for journey blast plus cat. But we're definitely casting journey what? here. There's no question about that. Oh, I do. I do have enough mana for that. Yeah. So that should just be the play. Yeah. You... I definitely don't want to trade these off. No. Easy. I don't really feel like the Murmuring Mystic is very good in their deck, but it's not really that good in general, it's to be good. honest. 
it's very good against us, but uh, it, it never stayed for more than one turn, so it's okay. Well, they main deck two Drown and Sorrow, so it's like a, not a combo with that. And also, well, it's sort of a combo because it doesn't die to it, but... Um, well, they have only one card in hand. Uh, it's also a four mana card, so... One. Okay, this is a spot where I've, I'm very pained to play up the Hawks. I'm just going to play a Cat and Pass. No, I think you play Hawk and make a treasure. Because then really? you're oh, next the brainstorm is so sad at that point, but but you win next turn. Well, they're just gonna flashback chainers edicts, right? I don't think they have the mana. One, they, they, they definitely mouse. do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They they have the mana for it. I think then uh, you play both. Play both? Oh, my brainstorm is gonna be so sad yes. when I draw it, but. Yeah, I, I agree. I don't usually do it, but since they have one card in hand, and they think... Uh, oh, but what if... It, oh, if their last card is Drown in Sorrow, we're going to be... We're going to be very... Or Fumes? I don't know. I, the play I would probably make on my own there is just Cat and Pass, but... It's more safe, it, but since, uh, if we top deck uh, Untap Land, we win. This is Lorien? Oh, it's Thorn. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have another removal. Okay, they have to draw removal off the uh, off the monarch here, and it can't be um, agony warped. Okay, hmm. so if they had removal, would they have used it? They would have, right? Maybe not. Actually, I'm thinking if um, if we should use journey, but I don't think so. I think we just pump uh, the. I want to pump like this. Flash. Yeah. Yeah. If they kill this, we just play another one. I think we play even if they don't kill. Right? Really? Yeah, because uh, we want oh, to... That is so bad. Alright, we have to play it now. We want to pressure the left off. <coughs> the last card is an island. Let's see. Oh, Lorien. miss okay still they still die four mana okay cat sorry i was distracted from a moment there uh yep we're not blocking they have no cards they have to draw exactly snuff out i guess no we are one oh, we short. can't double bump oh no now we are okay now we're good We'll put this on red. So, did they draw this snuff out? They did, they're very powerful. Wizards. Oh. Okay. Okay. I guess not. Damn, we're just destroying them. Okay, so I think we're definitely keeping this hand. My opponent, I would say, is most likely to be on mono red. Yeah, it's not the greatest because uh, of the heap, but it's okay. They could also be on glitters. I think they played glitters as well recently, but I mean, we can't, uh, we can't move this hand. No, it's no, no, no definitely, definitely not. I just like to think about what my opponent's range is likely to be before I, like, as I'm mulliganing, even if it's not likely to affect the, uh, the decision. Ooh, they're on basic island. Okay. Also glitter. Basic island though is not. Um, this means that they don't have seat in their hand this like this tells us a lot about their hand the fact that they played this island because i think they would have played a seat if they had one and they probably would have played a tap line if they had one right so they're probably light, light on lands hmm. i mean i don't think we're gonna ever journey though right no we, we are not we need to save this for the uh, thing <coughs> this is just cat play one of the gates i think so yeah even if it's a sad turn I don't think it matters which one we play, but I'm going to play the heap gate. Yeah, I play heap gate uh, because uh, the last... Uh, usually, mm, people often think I'm lucky because the last gate I play is the lethal basilisk gate. But yeah. I actually, like... Uh, That's true. Often, I'm holding it, uh, like, all the game, so... Yeah, you definitely want to play this last because you can surprise them. And because many times, they may play, like, uh, oh... I'm dead if they have the second one. Uh, or just uh, block me. I'm mean, easily blocking this, yeah. What? They probably have a ninja. Yeah. And we can block the ninja with the cat so again. Yeah. So 
So many times uh, they make the play and they uh, they make them based on uh, I'm dead if they draw second bases and then you just have and it you just and have it yeah didn't really draw. yeah. All right, so they I feel like they must have drawn this for turn or off the ninja. I think our play here is return the cat play a tap land right. We can yeah. just block the ninja with the cat. I'm a bit worried about uh, trading the cat, but it's okay because it's our way to win the game. You know. Yeah, but we have like. Because games can. I mean, we can win the game with any creature in our deck, and we have like twenty of those, so I'm not really worried know, about that. I know, but the cat is the one that help help us not dying to like litter. You know. Yeah. That's the I mean, yeah, because if they cast Glitter, we're going to take a big chunk of damage. That is that is true. Yeah, we don't have other plays now. But they usually, if I can uh, have one cat available versus them, I try to, to gain up uh, on life and survive to the first Glitter. Yeah. So it looks like they have another ninja. Yeah. I think our play here is going to be Slam Guardian and hope they don't have Rebuke. Depending on what we draw. Well, they could have rebuke, right? I don't know if I slam guardian then, because. Uh... I mean, yeah. If they hold up mana, then that means they almost certainly have rebuke because they don't really play um, yeah, many instants. What? Okay, so, so I think we... now we can we cast turn. these two. Yeah. The thing I'm worried yeah. about is that if we do these two, then we won't have any answer to glitters. But if they had glitters, they would have. They would have played it right. Yeah, I agree. So let's do this. I mean, they can also top deck it, but uh, that's the best play because we trade the uh, the hawk. I think. Uh, I think probably. Hmm. Sometimes I you can journey this, but. I'm thinking if uh, you we should trade next. No, no, no. Play do the play we we said. But I'm thinking uh, for next turn if we should play. Uh, what should we <laughs> trade the hawk with? Well, if they have another because, uh, ninja. Obvious they can they ninja. can still return this right yeah obvious is ninja but the most annoying creature is uh is ginger brute that is true it's not uh i think uh, this is interesting like uh, i'm not certain at all of the creature to block here if they yeah don't block, well i still think we're supposed to block here because one less card it's one less card and also if they really cared about this card a lot they would just activate it right so I know, but uh, sometimes, but uh, he's a good player, yeah. Yeah, that's because true. sometimes people just make mistakes, right? They don't forget, uh, they don't uh, realize how important a card is, and they don't give it unblockable the turn before. He dies, then they draw glitter, and they are like, oh, I wish I had it. Well, also, they could just not, like, it's possible they just want to save a mana, so it's possible, but. Also, if they do go for glitters, we do have a lot of looks at another journey to nowhere, so. And also, so it, we're we, a, um, it, a cleric. It's uh, very good uh, we went a squadron off last turn because uh, we need to find land. Yeah. Looks like they have another ninja? No. Okay, so they're holding up something. <laughs> <laughs> it can't be Rebuke at the moment. Why did, the, why did they not do that in phase one? I'm very confused. Maybe they have blacksmith skill? I don't know. Alright, brainstorm time? Yeah. Needed it lands here. Okay, need lands. So now we can go... Uh, we can't actually hold up counterspell, so we just play a tap land and play the hawk. Yeah. Or... Yeah, yeah. We have to shuffle back the... Uh, yeah, I don't think playing a guardian is a good play. No. No, not right now. Uh, I feel like... Oh, they've drawn so many cards. This is like the scariest thing against this deck, is that like... The odds of them not having glitters here is so low. Like... But, you know... Also, this is a, a like I would uh, like. I wish I had the cat now, because pumping cat here is good because we gain. We are thirteen. We are not twenty. Yeah, anymore. but we had to. We had to trade off the cat. We had no other good play. I know, I know. But uh, just to to tell you what I meant, uh, you know. Yeah, I understand. I just like it was just a clean two for one, and we had no other good play. So, yeah, I think it was correct. We are thinking a lot. That's probably good for us. Because if they had lethal, they would not be thinking. Okay, that mana is yeah. not good for us. So we have to block the frog now. 
Yeah. And then we have to draw into. So we have to draw into Joker. Yeah. It's okay. Sometimes you lose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, go the modern age. Discard the top land, probably. Even if we draw draw journey, we have to play the squadron hawk to block the frog knight, and they also have to have nothing. Yeah. Uh, mm. so we kill this squadron hawk, and then they still kill us. We no, we can we can block. No, so yeah, we're not dead. Not dead. Raid you count. <laughs> we still. We have to be right. I feel like we are super okay. This kills us. Okay, same plan as last time. I think so, yeah. And then we want to bring out all the strands and two modern ages. Is this what we did? What else did we board out in the Guardians? Like this? Yes. Okay. I think uh, it looks solid. Because they have uh, infinite blockers for Guardians. Yeah. It's not a definitely thing. not great. Because, you know, I was one of the people keeping in uh, one Guardian against all the Trinity because there were some points in the games where they just had to chump it, you know? Yeah, but it's four mana, which is just so much mana. I know, but if you... I don't know. It uh, it also versus good player. Often it uh, it was good. Uh, so, so, like, uh, it's very powerful. That's all I want to say. Like, uh, yeah. sometimes you... It's like a Ragavan when Mengucci said it's 80 euros, don't cut it. It's just your best card, yeah. Well, nowadays people aren't yeah. even playing four Ragavan in the main deck, but some people are playing three, know, like two in the main deck, two in the sideboard with the Ragavan. It's crazy. I know, but but still, right? I think uh, sometimes you just play too scared because it's uh, the best card you have. So. Yeah, I just generally, if I have the option between expensive cards and cheap cards, I just prefer to put cheap cards in my deck. If if everything else is equal, yeah. Yeah. You just give yourself so many more options. Um, do you think we made a mistake this game? I don't think so. Mm. I don't think so. I'm thinking. Uh, I don't think we could win this game because uh, Ginger Brute, uh, maybe. You know, I did I gave him unblockable to Ginger Brute last turn. No, the case. Yeah, the we could have also journeyed the Ginger Brute instead of uh, the Enforcer. enforcer. I think uh, we would have died that way. I think yeah. uh, because of the life uh, we would have lost. But I think if we trade, we instead of blocking uh, Ninja, we blocked uh, Ginger Brute. Maybe we could have lived. Just to be aware of. Uh, so we're definitely keeping yeah, I mean, this, but it has a pretty high risk of doing nothing. Because we have to put this on white, which means we can't cast the red blast. Well, we, we start with Altarius Gate. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I feel like this is a rare case where, where we'd rather have the other gate. Yeah. But I mean, if, uh, if it does nothing, uh, it's fine. It is what it is. We lose. <laughs> yep. We move to the next game. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, those matchup uh, push you to to this situation, right? It's not uh, like uh, versus Garden. I think there was much more uh, uh, this. I don't know. Like as uh, we talked, uh, blocking Ginger Brute was a relevant decision. Uh, but uh, versus Garden, you have more. Last game we had one relevant decision. I felt like. Yeah. Well, a lot of the decisions you make against these sort of decks are going to be in deck building, right? Like, yeah. Like, do you how much hate for, how much hate do you play for this? Do you play main deck destroy evil stuff like that? Um, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Oh, uh -huh. done. This is their, be their best start. start. Yeah. Uh -huh. Powerful. Even getting in. Powerful. 
All right, so we're putting this on white, so in case we draw onto after it melee, right? Yeah. And this goes on red. Yeah. I don't know if this will be enough. Yeah, I mean, we're even we're even on the play. On the draw, this would be hopeless, I think. I mean, obviously their hand could just be weak, but... Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. They could cast Enforcer, Enforcer, Enforcer. I'm, I'm even more scared of Thought Cast than Enforcer right now. But... No, I'm not scared of Fairman. Okay, they don't have a second land, so... Okay. But they still have production up. Okay, so... I think this is likely to get countered, but we should still play it. Because our man is going to be tied up for the next two turns. We should play an under percent it. Yeah. Hmm. It doesn't get countered, which makes me think that they have turn aside instead of um, rebuke, which probably means that we want to draw an untapped mana. Would be the best in this, this spot. Untapped mana would be a very good draw. I mean, I think we're still casting dust. Like we have two of these, so we we're not we're not going to stall. Just going to yeah, cast it. This is a thing that happened when I played Familiars a lot, is I would have, like, one Dust to Dust in my hand, and I would, like, wait until I knew I could resolve it, and then I would draw, like, more Dust to Dust off the top of my deck, and then I would just never have the mana to cast them, because you don't really get more than two white sources in Familiars, and I would just die, because I could, couldn't get, like, I would die with Dust to Dust in my hand, because I couldn't cast them all, because I'd waited too long. Mm -hmm. oh, but, um... Oh, oh. Hopefully they give it unblockable, because we're definitely going to block. Right. Block like this, or block with a cat. No, with the hook. All right. No, sure. we don't dust to dust. You just want to destroy the enchantment with the cleric? Yeah, yeah. All right. I'm just worried we're going to die with these in our hand, but... <coughs> the fact that they didn't activate means they have they have um the card 100% of the time, so... Yeah, this is definitely the correct play. They, they have turn aside in their hand 100%. But why didn't they use it? They could use it there. No, this does not. Oh, oh it's an ability, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. Do you want to give it unblockable? <laughs> they 100% have turn aside. We're blocking with the cat here, right? Yeah. Uh, yes. Another land is so good. No. Oh. Okay, so we're still we're still stalling on this. I think. I don't think it makes sense to play it. No. We can play a squadron oak and and uh, chant to with squadron oak one more turn. I think so. Oh, you want to play a yeah? Because we're not we're not using this. Yeah, you're right. <coughs> <coughs> I probably uh, we'll... should have just left up red mana instead and just. I'm not sure. Nah, it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. They're probably gonna give unblockable like now. I would imagine. I imagine. <laughs> Hopefully they don't draw another turn aside or something. Mm -hmm. hmm. Can they keep uh, wasting mana? I don't know. Like they should start cast spells because they can't wait forever not giving me unblockable and so on yeah all right so now we're gonna block with a hog yeah i'm very afraid that they have two interaction spells now but we don't really have a another good option okay now we have another good option yeah i think we cast journey yeah journey cat so now they probably have rebuke i guess if they rebuke and turn aside it would be their their hand here I wonder if they rebuke. Hmm. We're definitely countering, right? I feel like I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Really? Because uh, you know we can uh, champ another turn, then dust to dust uh, both land and ginger goop. Hmm. I don't know. All right, I'm making an, no, making an executive decision to just do this because yeah. it spends our mana more efficiently and. Um, 
I don't really want to take nine damage. <laughs> Go check on cat. They they don't have a uh, cannonade, I guess. <laughs> no, I don't think they have cannonade in their deck. <laughs> They're not going to. They're not going to do it. Okay, so... <coughs> are we casting this or are we not? That's the question. I kind of just want to use the first one, but... They, ha they have turned aside 100% of the time here. Yeah, they have it. Honestly, none of these targets are very good for the dust dust. I th I kind of just want to pass. Yeah, yeah, play land pass. So it's a hard choice. I mean, yeah. by not casting the dust dust, it forces them to hold up a mana every turn, which I don't know how useful that is, but um, it probably is more useful than just uh, getting it countered. I think the tiebreaker is that um, like none of these targets are very good. Like I want to get enforcers. I want to get like I don't think we can cut them off mana here. So. Yeah, I agree. The the point um, is the who draws uh, an interaction uh, first that can uh, break the. Okay, now we. Now we're just gonna cast it. it yeah. Okay. Start oh. Yeah. Draw those red elemental blocks. Hmm. I think we go bottom bottom. Hmm. I think Bonnerage is good enough, right? I mean, obviously, you'd rather use Brainstorm with these, but. No, I don't think uh, the Modern Age is good enough. I think we have to go further. Either draw Spell Pierce is good here. Brainstorm is good here. No, Spell, Pierce. Spell Pierce is not good, but. Uh... Yeah, see, this is my fear. Because probably we don't want to play this. Because we can draw more Modern Ages. There's only one more left in the deck, right? Yeah. Yes, but uh, wait a second. No, I think you play it and pass. Because next turn you can go double. 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 Yeah, but turn... I mean... Or you can go one, bring around Rebuke. And then... Sure, sure, that's fine. I think that this is not going to be... I don't think it really matters which of these we do here because... The turn aside only costs one mana, so it's like it doesn't really cost them that much. Like they're gonna hold up both turn asides if they have both if they have two, right? Mm -hmm. Although I guess waiting, if they play another mirror enforcer, we're gonna be glad we waited. Yeah. Or all the glitters. Mm -hmm. So one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, it costs one mana, okay. Another enforcer. Okay. It's one mana. We could think about playing a squadron hawk to block the ornithopter in case they have a ninja, but I don't think that makes very much sense when they can just get in with the ginger brute. Yeah, no, no. Also, we we need the next uh, brainstorm, like to draw cards. Yeah, we really need it. We if we don't draw a brainstorm, I think we just die because too many bad draws. I think we just block a wee cleric. No, I think uh, cleric. Really? Because the cleric is permanently holding back the trade inspector. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Sorry, Shattered Cat. Yeah. But, poor cat. If they ninja this back, it's, they get an extra card, so... Yeah, it's true, it's true, it's true, it's true. You're right, you're right. I would have... That's a good draw, but I, I'm gonna cast both of these, right? Or is this... Yeah. Well, I mean... the first. Let's see what you do. I mean... Keep up red. Okay. Oh, no, you can... Yeah, you can keep up red. I feel like this gets turn aside at 100% of the time, but. So then the question is, do we play the second one into rebuke? And I think we should, given that this is going to get rebuked yeah. if we. Yeah. Um, like whatever we do next turn is going to get rebuked regardless. Looks like they have rebuke. Or turn aside, yeah. This is this is honestly what I expected. It's the most likely outcome because. Yeah. yeah, but it's okay. Like uh, we we did our best to play around it and. Yeah. We couldn't hold it anymore. But uh, we haven't lost yet. No. So I kind of want to take four here. Is that insane? Uh, you can sacrifice a cat, I think, because we have another one. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, no, eight, I nine, ten, eleven. 
If we draw Balti, this can <laughs> to have one cat. No, no, you take five. Mm, no, so if we blo if we don't block, let's say their current card is a blank, and the next card on the top of their deck is um, Glitter. glitters, right? They have one, two, three. They have seven, eight, nine, ten artifacts. So glitters would get plus eleven. So if we don't block, next turn we'll so we'll currently be at. So if we do block. We're going to go down to 17 and back up to 18, so we'll be at 18, and then we'll take 12 damage. And then if we don't block, we'll be at 15, we'll take 12, we'll block like this next turn. Yeah, I think not blocking is fine, right? Because we're not going to dead yeah. at the top? Yeah, okay. no blocks. Okay. So now the question That's is, cool. I think we just want to leave up a blue-white, right? Yeah. We draw a red blast, that's annoying, but... I want to be able to flash back a cat. Well, they have another rebuke because of their last card. That's just disgusting. <laughs> well, we couldn't do anything anyway. Okay, so now we need the uh, journey and. Uh, no, 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 flip cat. Basil's gate is good. Yeah, Basil's gate is very, is very good. Brainstorm is good. Okay. Well, now their their hand lineup. Uh, well, which is ours. Yeah, we get the uh the treatment that we were giving the uh opponents earlier. Yeah. No. Alright, we're just Can passing. We yeah, we jump with the Dumbringer. I think we have to now. And I think we're just dead to glitters, so there's no point in jumping, oh. but I wanna I wanna keep these in play. Oh we are already dead though? Yeah. So yes. Yeah. Yes, if we are right then. We could it's okay. like quad block the, the the enforcer, but that does not seem like a good no. idea. <laughs> that doesn't seem like a winning line. No. Holding uh, Ox uh, to to brainstorm. I mean, if we draw nothing for two turns, it doesn't matter what what we yeah. have done, right? Okay. All right. Discard the spell pierce. Yes. Can discard island. All right. Is there any world where we play a hawk? There's not, right? I think we play hawk because otherwise we are dead, right? So yeah, this blocks here. Yeah, we because our out is drawing. Uh, yeah, our basil skate. Yeah. So we're gonna block this on here and this on here and then take two. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. Okay. It's our our only way to live. Yeah. Maybe we won't, but we don't have other ways. Uh, oh, so now we're dead to a ninja. No, we're not. Yeah. yeah. If we do this, we're dead to a ninja. Is that I a... think we died to ninja. It's okay. And now we're just dead 100% of the time next turn if we don't draw a Basil's Gate. I guess we could attack for one. Okay. Like, does that keep us alive? It does, right? We target so. these two? Yeah. We're still dead to... Now we're dead to a lot of stuff. We're dead to all the glitters. We're dead to ninja. We're dead to ginger brute. We're dead to... Know, like uh, half their deck. That time of the game where we just uh, pass. <laughs> just see. What do you have? Show us. <laughs> no. To be fair. This would be a crazy game to win. But now they're just gonna play Glitter on top there. No? Oh. They make us block with the cat, which is not good. No. But now we have a counter spell and two preordains, so I actually don't hate our spot. Don't hate our spot at all. Okay. In so I wanna cast preordain first. Yeah, the first at least. Okay. They brainstorm bottom. Yeah, Brainstorm doesn't do anything, it's just a cycle. <coughs> Journey... I don't... I think it's better than a random card, right? I and mean, we're looking for Basilisk Gate. Yeah, keep Journey. I mean, it's fine. Because we... I want to cast another preordain here. Uh, yes, we preordain again. 
bottom both. Uh, old ancestral recall brooding. So now what we can do is brainstorm to shuffle this away. But I want to I want to just go journey pass and then next turn go brainstorm to shuffle this away. Does that make sense? Next turn. Why next turn? Well, because we could shuffle. We could draw another card, bad card that we want to shuffle away. Because we get to shuffle away two bad cards with this, with the hawk. It increases the odds we find another bad card if we if we wait a turn. Okay, we don't die to ginger brute yet, so that's good. Yes. Because if we go okay. brainstorm hawk, we can't also play journey and have counterspell up. So. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna journey the Brogmites. Yeah. I mean, doesn't. Yeah, one affinity less, but it uh, doesn't really matter. No, I don't think it matters though either. Oh, we're dead to ninja. I think we maybe should have played around that, actually. I think that might have been a mistake. Because we could have played out the hawk, and then... Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so now we put back keep, gate, spell, pierce, play squadron, hawk to shuffle. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we have to. It's kind of sad because we put a bunch of bad cards on the bottom, but you want to cast brainstorm? Brain okay. Because we don't have. Uh, There's no more hawks, so. yeah. Oh, this is so bad. No, it's okay. No, it's okay. That's the future cards. Okay, so we can't cast, so we just go island red blast on red, and then cast turn. Uh, no, we shouldn't have fast. We should have uh, journey the creature and attack. Because you can't, we can't win uh, without attacking now, right? Yeah, I feel like just attacking them for two is not gonna get us anywhere though. Like we're not gonna win in t unless we find a, a a basilisk gate, which is gonna take us a long time. I think oh, wow. we're supposed to let this resolve, right? Mm. We're dead to ninja at that point. Yeah, we have. To. Well, we can red blast the ninja. We, we have. To. Yeah, we have to let this resolve because we can't counter it. But uh, yeah, yeah. So if they alpha strike with their dudes, we have to chump with a bird on the three minute specter. We get to eat something. We get to eat one of their things. Yeah, let this resolve. So now we're doing nothing for at least two more turns. Yeah. Are we casting journey or no? No, but because we can't block them, right? I feel like. <coughs> so, not. I feel like I want to save this for an enforcer. That is my thought process because we have no other way to answer an enforcer, and we have two answers to, nin to ninja. Yeah, just wait. It's a sad, uh, it's a sad position because we don't have any draw spell. Well, we have um, the modern age still one. Yeah. To cycle through, to move forward. But. Uh, so if they have ninja, they'll probably attack all. In which case, we'll block here, block here, block. Yeah. Okay. We're definitely not playing this land. Is there another modern age? There's just one left, right? No. It's just one left in the deck. Also, it's kind of ridiculous. We draw 40 cards. Yeah. No bounces. That happens. Well, we also like scryed a bunch of the bottom and then shuffled our deck. Okay. Um. So now we go Basil's Gate, pump the Hawk, and then Journey, right? Yeah. We need to start winning the game. This is a two-turn clock. Well, I should cast Journey first. I don't think it ever matters, but... I want to make sure that I've resolved this before I start attacking. No. Okay. The top there. Was the... It's okay. You should have uh, journeyed the top there, I think. Well, right? so if I journey the Thopter, they attack with all. If they have a ninja, the block, block. We, we can't, we have still to block that. They get it. They get, it, they get an extra card off the inspector if I do that, right? It's true. Okay, okay. It's fine. It's fine. I think. It's, this is so it's just kind of complicated but i think yeah it's, it's fine yeah. it's fine okay do we have to counter I, this I to give, uh, we don't I right so. well because no, they, they're blocking with a thopter and but otherwise we cannot attack right no because they're gonna have they only have three creatures because they have to jump block well they have to jump block yes and then they attack with two inspectors and a frog right we block the frog block the inspector go to one and if they have a ninja yeah. we have power blast yeah Okay, so this we don't counter again, right? It just buys them. Oh, this is so bad now. No, these you counter. Yeah. If they have gingerbread, uh, we lose. 
next turn, of course. Yeah. On the top. I'm going to hold this, it doesn't matter. Yeah. I mean, they have a bunch of draw spells in their deck. Like, it's probably seven more. And we have all of those covered, so. Yeah. And if they don't, if they brick, if they draw a draw spell, we win. If they draw glitters, we win. If they draw. Yeah, they need the. Any the land, we win. We change your brute. Yeah. I mean, they could also, like, draw a ninja. We blast the ninja. They replay the three wind inspector. They draw off the clue. And then hit a, an ornithopter. Oh. What a game. <laughs> yeah, what a game. We're just going to die in two turns in game, game three. Not in two turns, but... but uh, I think this is uh, good content. I don't know if it uh, was good uh, to watch, but uh, yeah. to play, it felt good. All right, all right. Oh, no. All right, we're not changing anything, right? I think so. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. What a game. <laughs> that was a wild game. Uh, oh my god. It would feel so good to win this game. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Definitely earned. But it's fine. If we don't win, uh, it is what it is. But... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like this is the classic, like, you die you have like an epic game two and then game three is just not competitive at all. Somebody mulligans to four or something. This is what always yeah. happens. <laughs> And it's like not like this. <laughs> yeah, that happens. That's the game. Yeah. Maybe at one point it will have to just shut up and uh, let you play for the time. Yeah, I'm not super worried about it. I can play very fast if we if we need to. Mm. This is a very close hand. <laughs> what do you think about this hand? I'm uh, greedy, I keep this hand. Alright, let's do it. I'm down. Opponent kept seven as well. Ooh, Darksteel Citadel. That's good for us. Maybe not good for us, but... Well, we drew nothing That's for turn. That's very good. Like, if this Dusted Us was like a counterspell, I think we're supposed to mulligan, but... Yeah. But uh, since it was a uh, the Looks... best card in the deck, <laughs> yeah, against them. All right, opponent also has one land. Uh, yes. <laughs> not good. I mean, it's not nothing. So we shuffled. We draw nothing. We shuffle with the hawk, and then oh, it's so bad. If they play all the glitters, we're just we're just doomed. Yeah, but it was uh, it was uh, cool. That's not all the glitters. Mm, do we talk talk or journey? You know, I think I cast uh, how many? We have one more hook uh, right on the top. Yeah, that's 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 our top card. So we go, we go the modern age anyway. So I think we just cast journey. We accept this squadron oak, we draw them. It's okay. Really? Because otherwise otherwise we take too much damage. Yeah, I guess. Uh, maybe we're, we were probably supposed to mulligan that hand. Oh, no. Nah, I don't think so. I think uh, we were just uh, kind of unlucky. We play a lot of lands, uh, old Solarian, and uh, we just draw two in the first uh, like uh, yeah. 12 cards cards it's okay because not but it, it's so they don't have glitters because if they had that they would have played it unless they drew it off the top they only have one color source i mean yeah, we, we do we still have a chance a, but yeah they don't have a super fast clock or a super turn clock uh, it's okay. the double squadron hawkus draws were not very good yeah those were not good but you know, like we should have drawn like uh, two lands in the with the brainstorm and the top and the first two draws. So yeah, that was the average, you know? I don't so know. It was a hand we were supposed to keep. 
I think so. Even losing, even if we lose. Yeah. Well, whether you win or lose shouldn't change the the decision, right? Yeah. Yeah. Even if we lose, uh, I think uh, same hand they would keep it again on the draw on the play. On the play, you're definitely mulligan. Yeah. Yeah. That is one of those spots where having, like, I think when the games are played out really quickly, having four preordain and three brainstorm makes a little bit more sense. Like, if yeah. if you're only playing against mono red in this deck and like, um, like aggro decks, then having four preordain and three brainstorm I think is is better than the other way around. Yeah, for sure. But uh, that's not the most deck you find, right? No, no, no. Against yeah, gardens, you definitely need the fourth brainstorm. Yeah, you <laughs> you do. Oh, they were thinking a long time. Yeah, they could be thinking. They could have also just disconnected or something. Hmm, I don't know. I think uh, they are thinking if to attack for to clock or to crack or to crack the clue. No, but they can do it anyway. Or maybe they have yeah. something else to cast. Maybe second shot now. There's no other decision here. This gets countered. No. Sadness ensues. Oh, they were thinking if to keep up rebuke. Okay. Okay, makes sense. That's. Oh, they took a long time to decide that. Yeah. Okay. It's so hard to read too much into the um. The plays when you're playing online, because I think a lot of the time your opponent is just like, <laughs> they went to yeah, the bathroom or something. Someone, yeah, someone t was talking to him like. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. We have basic basic planes as the top card of our deck, anyways. Boom. Well, well, it's okay. Still have, still have some time. Yes. This goes on white. Yes. We need to draw. We need to draw an untapped land. Yeah. Even then, I feel like we're dead to so much stuff here. I mean, we don't need to draw an untapped land. We Base, need them basic planes. Not to have protection, right? I mean, they're gonna have protection 100%. I feel like. Nah. I mean, they kept seven cards. Yeah, you you're right. What could they have otherwise? I think we are dead now. Two, four, five, six, yeah. two. Yes. Yeah. Even with uh, if dust dwarfs. Well, play no. I don't. Okay, so I don't think it matters what we do. We play the cat, journey something, block, gain one, take. One, two, three, four. Okay, so if we block... Uh, wait, wait, let's count. If we block uh, Ninja... Because we block here, we journey here, we take four and gain one, and we still die. Right? No, but... Uh, two, four, four, gain one, yes. If we... If we dust oh, yeah. these two, we, we still die, yeah. Yeah. This end has no gate, has two hawks. Yeah. This will gape. Right bottom yeah. in the counter spell. Yes. I think that you're supposed to mulligan that hand, that hand probably. But it's hard to know. Playing like, mono is it playing mono red? Okay. No, I'm not sure. <laughs> I was betting. <laughs> we keep two journey, so we have to find the mono red that, that goes monastery, monastery. We go journey, journey. Yeah. No, not that. I want to do. Monastery. Gardens again. Okay, we have spell pierce. So yeah, we're just gonna play this in pass, right? Mm, no, no. I think we preordain for yeah, top for a top line, yeah. Bottom both? Yes. Oof, that is not good. Yeah, do we definitely have to cast preordain there? Because if we miss on the preordain, we want to cast brainstorm now. Yeah. Ideally we just hit a tap line, we can pierce the um the dispute, but we have to. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, this is good. Okay. I mean... <laughs> I mean we're missing our land drop again, but... Not again, but... Okay. Okay. So, I still think we're playing Modern Age, right? Yes. We want to turn towards our land. If they have a Jukabog, that's really awkward, but... There's no point in returning the cat. We just we just pass now, right? Mm. Our turn next turn is going to be journey this and then return the cat. Yes, yes, yes. I needed uh, one second to think. 
It's all good. They have Thorn. We cry. All right. Crying is now, is now what's happening. That's okay. He's the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Let's grab something to almost done. We have no flyers except for the Modern Age. So we will have ways to protect the Modern Age next, the turn after next, but like probably what we have to do is just pass so we can hold up both our counters. Hmm. Maybe not. Maybe we're supposed to like return the cat to play an edict and then pass. Um, depends. Yeah. Yeah, we will return the cat and play around edict because it's uh, the same to use uh, Pierce cat. Yeah. Victor. Hope they don't have the instant speed one. Okay. Here's this. Yeah. <coughs> it's, it's, this sort of position is why I hate the emblem so much, but you know, what are you going to do? It's okay. Sometimes uh, they have it. Turn four with the removals. Yeah. Okay. All right, so they probably have another edict, would be my guess, if they're making that play. That's many darkness. That also makes makes sense. So we need to draw squadron yeah. luck. Or... Also, we haven't lost. I mean, uh, yeah. The... So I want to play both of these out. I think. I agree. We're just forcing them to have a bunch of removal, which their deck is basically entirely removal, but I don't think we have a good second best play, really. Uh, they they need to show it. <laughs> yeah. Six mana what? Huh? <laughs> Alright, winnable, winnable. Double journey. I want to draw another journey. So... Those... The question is, do we play? We probably just hold up counterspell, right? Yeah, you journey the. Well, we should attack first. Yeah, you attack first. And then journey, journey the, the troll. troll. And I think we just pass. I don't think playing the modern age makes a whole lot of sense. Not yet. We don't have peaches. Hmm. Pierce could be useful at some point. Yeah. We do need to hit our lands. I mean, having extra cards is just nice when we're going to be trading the Monarch back and forth and we have the Modern Age, so. Yeah. I feel like my opponent is likely to have... We're not countering this. I think they're likely to have more emblems in their hand. Like, their deck is mostly removal and emblems, so I'm, I guess they have some card draw they could have. They could have, like, more disputes, but... Yeah. Well, they, they would have caught... Yeah. Do we... I mean, I'm pretty sure we're supposed to counter this, but, like... No, you you have to. Just because it's a 5-4, but if they just played a 0 mana card that gave them the initiative, I think we would let it resolve, probably. Yeah, it's too early to let them resolve that. It yeah. puts too much pressure right now, and we have two counter spells. Yeah. Ooh, that, is, okay, that so... is good. I think we start with Modern Age here. Yes. Mm, no, no, no. I think we just... Uh, we miss land drop this turn, we attack. And we cast uh, strength, uh, protect. Uh, oh, you just want to hard cast and hold up counter? Yes. Sure. Okay, that makes sense. I was thinking we cast the modern age, only attack with one of these, and then flashback and have a counter. But, no, but the, this gives strength is two cards. Yeah, that's true. Oh. All right. Well, we'll probably we might end up cycling that. I think if yeah, it depends. Yeah, if they make us use the counter spell. Or not. Okay. Probably they cast another Torn would be my guess here. If they have it. Yeah, or another Hunter. I mean, they want to play another creature so they can return both of them with the, uh, the Blood Fountain. Three mana. No, two mana. One mana. Alright. Uh, are we countering this? I think so. It's free. We, I mean, it's really not free because here's the thing: we counter this, and they get they get perfect mana to return both of these, 
And we'll be, we can just attack and then flashback strands to... Okay. I kind of want to let this resolve. Just... Oh. Yeah, yeah. Psycho Lorian, keep up. Keep and if they have Crypt Rats and we counter the Thorn, it's, like, not great. Yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. I, I just feel like it gives them too much value cause off of the Blood Fountain, but... Okay. No, no, it's true, it's true. You're right. And then we're going to cycle the Lorian on the end step, right? If we're in the island? Yeah. Okay, this will counter. Yes. And they also, we know for a fact their top card is another Avenger Hunter. Ooh, that is interesting. Oh, wait, wait. Uh, I think, I think uh, we cycle Lorien, we pump uh, one hook. And we attack. Yeah, start getting the, the beats on. So we're just attacking with one, right? Yes, because we need to flash back. Uh, so what's our what's our other play if our other player is modern age we should have played that earlier if our other player is squadron hawk we it's fine to no, do no, that no. second we, main we keep, up, uh, we keep up pierce if they have snuff out or well for this for the for the combat step sure yeah yeah yeah. no you're right and now what do we do we cast modern age discard pierce right that's what i want to yes. do yes 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 perfect land drop so now they're going to resolve an Imagine Hunter here. But we can kill them. But yeah, we win next turn, right? I mean, we win if they have no removal in the deck that is 25 removal spells. But, but we just draw... They just draw a, a Hunter. Yeah, they drew a Hunter for turn. Yep. And, we, and didn't have removal before. This is true. This is true. I mean... Really, they do have removal. They have a blood. They have the blood. I mean, we go for it anyway. Blood boss? Okay. They could have more Spinning Darkness. That's a card that makes sense to be in their hand. No, they only played two of this, right? But we don't kill them anymore with blood boss. We get a 16. We deal 6 plus 6, 12. Yeah. No, you're right. So we attack with just... Okay, then. Let's throw this card. Discard one of the tap lines or the strands. Yes. Dis no, discard. Uh, wait, wait. Let's let's count the mana. So this <coughs> is of brainstorm of pump one. So it's. Uh, uh, we have to discard. We could we could also no. go discard a tap land, pump once attack, and then card cast strands on their turn. Yeah, and flashback. And flashback. Yeah, I think so. Is yeah. that better? Just save the brainstorm hawk, brainstorm hawk for later. I think it's good because uh, our the modern age flips. Yeah. Okay. Let's do this. And then we can play our tap lands. Uh, three six yes. I, did I mess up? No, I didn't. Okay. No, no. And then do this. And then we're only attacking with a one, right? Yes. They can't have spinning darkness. Well, we have strands for that, but they don't have the cards in the graveyard for that. They could have like Defile or whatever that card's called, the one mana card. Hmm. I feel like they don't have removal, most likely. Oh no, they do have Defile. Okay, so, hmm, that's not good. It's okay. It dies. So, we're still sticking with the same plan. Is that true? I'm thinking, how much do they attack for? Seven. Well, they get to forge something. So if we cast strands, we're going to take one, two, three, four damage. Seven plus uh, we don't. Uh, two, right? Seven plus two. Yeah, but I think we're going to cast strands on green, right? No, but I don't think we will cast strands. I think we go... You want to brainstorm? Brainstorm oak and... Uh, and try to kill them next uh, turn? And we, we can uh, hold back uh, strands next turn and steal the initiative. Okay, sure. Makes sense. Hmm. Does this change our play? Oh. We're putting back a hawk and an island, right? And then we're playing the hawk. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, no, it doesn't change yet. Oh, we should have attacked first, actually. Because this will shuffle our deck. No, but uh, we won't attack, right? Oh, yeah, we can attack with one. Yeah, so if we attack with one, and then we um, cast Journey to Nowhere on the Avenging Hunter. Yeah. Might have been a better play. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, but then we could... Uh... Well, it's okay. Okay. They're gonna fall probably flashback, I would imagine. We still, we still will have one flyer from the um, modern age, but it won't be able to attack. How about we have uh, hold the modern age cat the next turn? Yeah. Uh, I think. Uh, yeah. Lots if of they stuff. don't. Back, uh, they need to top deck like a dispute, I think. Like, uh, yeah, we are not in a bad position because of strands. Yes, we are going down to three. That was a bit spooky. Ah, it's okay. Oh, you say we we lose to crit rats. Crit rats. Okay. Okay. So two, we currently have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. This costs one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. <laughs> would we, we we definitely would rather play the squadron hawk than the the cleric, right? Yeah, because we need the flyers. Yeah. Cat the blocks anyway. We're gonna journey. Blocks. The hunter? the hunter, and then we yeah, can trump yeah. lock this. Yes, cast strains on black. Yes. Okay. Okay, so they have two turns to draw, draw spell, either draw spell or removals. Yes. They haven't actually used that much removal this game, so I guess they used four, five, six. It's an okay amount, but they're halfway through their deck and they run like fifteen or some ridiculous number, twenty. Okay. <laughs> so this doesn't kill us or anything. No. Playing the hunter. By the way, we kill them next turn. If they have no removal, then yes, we do. There's no way they don't attack Paul, right? What? Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, seems unwise. Black. Also block weak cat. Yes. I'm always afraid that for some reason, like this isn't gonna work or something, and like I'm gonna <laughs> die, and I don't, I don't know why, but. Oh, so sometimes you have to cast uh, before blocks uh, versus blue deck, right? Oh, not not that like MTG is gonna bug or something, and <laughs> I'm just gonna die. Um, okay, so... Wait, 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 wait. One, two, so... one, two. So if we play this, we, we need nine mana to triple activate. One, two, three, four, seven, eight. So if we play this, we can triple activate. But uh, do we want to flash back strands green or black? Maybe to play around spinning darkness. Well, we're not attacking with the cat, so we'll be able to do that regardless. Yeah, I'm thinking if I want to cast down Bringer. Uh, well, help. does triple pumping actually help us get lethal? It doesn't, right? No, that's why I was considering to attack with the uh, Sacred Cat. I was considering. Uh, no, no, no. We should definitely make them have one removal spell. Okay. I want to. Yeah. I want to pump one. Pump once. Play this. Right. Okay. Okay. What is that? What do we? If we attack with the cat, we're safer against rats. 
I, I was thinking uh, pump cat, the double pump uh, hook attack. Then we don't have strands though. We don't have strands. We could double pump the glider and pump the cat. Can double. Yeah. And then we'll have the strands with the hawk. We can block the plant and then flashback before damage. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't sound bad to me. Right. Yeah. And then I make sure I need to play you and play this. Let's go. Start with this. Because uh, 10 lives is not bad. No, definitely not. I feel like they should have main phased this, but. Because if they have no room removal, they still lose. If they have another Breckner's Bargain, then they'll have enough life, I think. <coughs> the odds of them having no removal, though, is just incredibly low. Wait, let's wait and think if it changes the count. The file? Okay. Okay. So now if we double pump okay. this... I think we, we try to double pump... Uh, we still win, right? We double pump. Yeah, yes. it's exactly enough. Yeah, I think we try to double pump the bird. Yes. The file. Okay. So now. This is really bad. Now. Do we pump the cat? Or do we play the cleric to flashback strands? We pump the cat. Yeah. And attack. I don't think we're likely to win here, but. Well, we have it. still uh, two guardians in the deck. In the last, uh, yeah. So the problem is that um, they get to bring back and cast an Avenging Hunter, which brings them into the throne, which gives them Crypt Rats, which is very bad. Yeah, yeah. It's true, it's true. But. Uh... Um, we could, uh, maybe we could uh, play them. No, we needed the life. Okay. The other option I could have seen would be pumping the cat instead of the hawk. I I don't think it matters though. I think we're we're being defeated no, no matter what. Maybe no no maybe you're right. We should have pumped the hawk. If it resolved, we should have pumped it more, and just attack with plain hawk and but uh, i don't know little i don't know if it's the right because uh, i think we need to draw guardian right now basically yeah, I and Go. then they can't have removal because they have another edict so have them bring their dog yeah yeah yeah. and that's what i'm saying they can't have another second room as well uh we're super dead oh no we have uh strength you okay, play so we're gonna exile this, gain two life, bring back the cat. And the cat. Yes. Yeah. And then we can uh, raise them with the cat still. I don't know how many removal they have left. But... Uh, unlimited. It never runs out. Unlimited removal. Yeah, you play it for lives. Yeah, so now we only take five. We can block the plant with a cleric. Flashback on black. They didn't hit a... Wait, let me look at what they hit. Let's see, did they hit rats? They hit rats and chose not to use it. That seems like a mistake to me, but... Yeah, I agree. I guess, how many more strands do we have left? There's two more. A lot. Theoretically, we could deck them out. But that's that's going to be a long, a long play. I don't know if that long... <laughs> Five turns. Yeah. A big pumping of cat and then you, you will be fine. So Alright, so collect our free life point, flashback on black, right? Yeah. Yeah. We don't have any edit uh, any emblem to protect. And the life matters also because of uh, trap. Before. Yeah, I mean, if they don't have a kill spell for the cat, then we get to gain a lot of life. But yes, I mean, they're it's just they're, they're 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 drawing their whole deck mostly, so I feel like 
Yeah. Oh, we can't deck them out because of this, right? No, no, they can because when it... Because the Monarch, yeah. And there's a draws. Oh, it draws itself. Yeah, no, you're right. Yeah. Otherwise, it would be too good. For some reason, I thought this stopped you from decking, but it does not. When I read it first time, uh, I thought the same. I mean, they have to have Crypt Rats here. There's, yeah. Now we're done. Oh, well, they have seven. Oh, five, well, we have six, seven. We have, I mean, we have black protected right now, but they can just do it on our upkeep. But if they do it now... <laughs> wait. They could do it now. I don't think they're going to do it now, but... I mean, it's a raid you count. <laughs> yeah. You know, I heard someone say it, and uh, I found it very funny. Because it's true, right? Yeah. Until he has uh, like a little on the stack, he doesn't concede. I mean, that's one way to go. Yeah, one you way need to go. Uh, mental fortitude too. I I think I think you're supposed. I I probably concede way too early a lot of the time, but I just value my sanity too much. If we drew strands, then we could like. Do stuff, but well, try to pump the cast. Yeah, now we just what they do. now we just die. If they answer, we can concede. No, I mean it doesn't matter because they can still block and. I mean, I'll make them do it. I'll make them do it, but they can they can <laughs> block and prompt the crypt rats before damage. I mean. You kept the three two mana open, uh, and they wanted to play around strands. Uh, you know, I mean, they could have. Oh, I guess no. I guess their play does make sense. Yeah, because they want to play around strands in our uh, in our hand, and we can't. Um... They can't cast it on their own turn because the black is protected. So, yeah, it's true. It's true. All right, same plan as last time. Or two strands. Was it three strands or two strands, one one journey? One journey was also. Okay. I think so. Yeah, so because we want to keep all the creatures and we want to have pitch something to pitch to Mother Nage. <clears throat> I mean oh, you know what uh, this league is missing? I think uh, games against uh, Cool Dota are very interesting. Yeah. And uh, and like uh, they map the first like four turns matter a lot the sequencing the what you do so I think uh, would have been a good content if instead of two gardens we found one. Yeah, especially since it's such a popular matchup. I think that like the tr the thing that's troublesome for me about that matchup is that you can pretty easily not die but you have to actually set yourself up to win like sometimes you'll like discard all your strands and your cats just so that you don't die and then they'll be able to outdraw you in the late game or you'll like miss land drops on purpose like you'll discard lands because you need the other cards off the modern age and then you'll get yeah. grounded out because your opponent's hitting more land drops than you are uh this is a keep i think lorian Probably we're going to go turn to Lorien and then play it tapped. Oh, I don't actually have the tap lane in my deck, I think. So This falls to, to Dures. Turn 1 Dures. That is true. <laughs> I actually don't have the, the tap lane in my deck, I don't think so. Okay, we take the, the island. So we're just going to get... We're not going to cast Brainstorm? Or are we going to cast Brainstorm? We do have one bad card. Do no, we have an extra one? We cast Brainstorm. No? No, we just no, we just cycle. Okay. We will use them with the hooks soon. That's a good draw. So if they cast dispute on the end step, do we counter this? No, oh, I guess we don't get to think about that. I think I probably would have. You make a treasure. Yeah. I want to get cards out of my hand so I can cast the squadron hawk. So I'm just gonna cast the cat and pass. You want to cast Brainstorm, actually, to hit your land drop? Uh, yeah, yeah, wait, wait. Yeah, I think you cast Brainstorm. Oof, that is not... 
appealing. You, you still have the. You still you can make a treasure and go brainstorm hope next. To yeah, the, I'm gonna put both back on the journeys. That exactly. Yes. So you still have counters then, and you can go brainstorm hope next to them. Do we want to do that? Yeah, we do. No, no, but if you, I'm not sure you want to go also hope like uh, brainstorm hook i think uh, for sure hook yeah well the problem yeah. with hawk is that we aren't grabbing all three of them right like what i'm tempted to do here is just play the sacred cat and pass because we can still make a treasure and if we grab hawks then we're just going to be like we're only going to be grabbing one if we grab all three it's terrible the only I downside to playing this and uh, passing is that we have a journey on top of our deck. Go ahead. I'm thinking uh, to discuss Guardian. They need the double, uh, double Edict. Because you can counter the first, and then next turn you can protect it with Hoax, Brainstorm, and such. Yeah, that's fair. Alright. I do like that this gets a card out of my hand. I think we need to start getting yeah. getting cards out of our hands. I think uh, you need to do this because otherwise uh, th there is not many spots when you can just tap for mana. And now he's digging for for Idix. Okay. Let's see. We have another one. Yep. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. We traded cards for cards. And then also we can uh, play creature to the board. All right. Yeah. We're definitely doing this. Yes. And then do we want to play a cat out or no? I think we do. We're going to discard otherwise. And I don't think playing Brainstorm there makes a whole lot of sense. Depends if uh, you were good enough to find your plane. That is correct. For one of one of planes. The file on deck. Yeah. Oh god, it's okay. It's okay. So if we hit an untapped land, we can go is that even true? No, it's not. We have to find the basic planes. Exactly. I think we have to go for the hawk this turn. Yeah, you go brainstorm hawk. Uh... It's really awkward because we're going to have to go to discard. Do you only find one hawk here? I feel like we're supposed to find both and discard something. Because we have this. Yeah, I'm thinking. Yeah. I think uh, you discard the journey. That's what I would do as well. If they have another Revenging Hunter, that's really bad. Maybe, maybe discard this. Wait. Uh, well, you can also discard the land because we go brainstorm next turn anyway. So we will draw oh, another man. land. <laughs> it's a bit risky. If we don't draw another land, it's really bad, but it is pretty. No, but we have horde looks. <laughs> pretty likely, but. Pretty likely is not guaranteed, right? It is not, but uh, I think uh, it's the right uh, sequencing. Also, uh, yeah. Oh, so <laughs> my play to play out the Guardian was not good uh, versus their three addicts. And... No. <laughs> this is why I don't really like. When your opponent has a good way to interact with the Guardian, it's such a bad card. No, I, I think uh, it was fine. Uh, wait, Chainer? Okay. Okay, so we did hit a land of some sort, but it's not ideal. So I think we're going to play the Hawk. I think we and go a cat. With Cleric. Uh, no, Hawk to journey. Hawk journey. We have to journey. Yeah, we're going to die. So we get to shuffle away one card. What card is that? Spell Pierce, probably? Yeah, spell pierce. And we go top land then. Yep. Uh, 
I'm getting so many DMs about the the popper event right now, but you will answer later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. What do we got from the opponent? Three, Two, three, three, four. They have Chain Z Deck as their worst case. Which it looks like that's what they're doing. Sure. Okay. That's probably not that bad for us. No, no. Okay. We can go. Can okay. Already... So I want to hold up both of these this turn, I think. Yeah, I Two, want to three. go. Hawk Cat. Hawk Cat. Can we hold up both of these if we do that? So we go. Hawk yeah. off this, Bazi. cat off here, play this, and, and we have enough mana. Yeah. Yes. I'm gonna die to a plant. Nah. Uh, no way. I know. Maybe to a hunter or to a rat, but not to a plant. Also, next turn we have blocker for the plant. Yeah. We take two. Okay. All right. Let's make a treasure. Yes. Okay. All right. I'm feeling good about this. Um. So we're definitely playing the cleric. I think. I think we play it before combat because if they have spinning darkness, they can go cast down spinning darkness. So. And maybe they don't figure it out. Uh, you want to exile the card instead of gaining yes. two life? Hmm. Do you gain two life? I think that makes sense. Because spinning we, spinning we darkness does make it sense as the card in their hand here. We just can't ever get hit again because if they go to the undercity, they get a rats and we die. So if we're if we're exiling a card, that means we're just never getting hit again for the rest of the game. But yes, because if they if they play. Creep traps, we die anyway, so. Yeah, okay. Um, does it matter what land we play, what, how much we tap? So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do we want eight mana or nine mana? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we want eight mana, so we'll play the tap land. So let's sure. go exile the card. Except we're not double pumping, so I can use this mana. We need to play Cleric to block the plant. Yes. So now we get to know if they have Spinny Darkness. So now I'll play this. White. And then what are we Pump pumping? The pumping the cat, right? Pump the cat. Yeah. Attack with both. Yes. Yeah. Mm, I actually don't like this play. No, you... We we counted wrong. Ah oh, no, we have the treasure. Yeah, I counted right. I don't. I actually don't like this attack with the cat because the only way we're winning this game is if the hawk connects anyways. So I think we're supposed to bump the hawk because this light doesn't matter. I think we we're supposed to bump the hawk there. Yeah, maybe. Maybe you're right. Yeah. Yeah. Because if they ever hit us, they win. Okay, yeah, the thing was that, like, I expected uh, My... double removal on the hook, but uh, without pumping it, uh, no, you don't counter this. I would let it go, I think. Yeah, because they just draw one, but... land, one land and one card of the card. Yeah, if you don't pump it... Uh... Yeah, it's okay. I think we're definitely supposed to pop the hawk there, because A, we we only win if this, if this connects, and B, this life doesn't matter at all. But is this game two or game three? This is game two. We're down a game, right? Oh. Okay, it'll be more quiet. Uh, oh, we have five minutes. Wait, is this is this not game three? Oh no. I I don't remember. We took forever. Okay. Uh, <laughs> we're doing things now. I should not have played that land. Should not have played that land. Uh. <laughs> now I'm just taking game actions. Yeah, uh, just pump. I don't think it, I don't think the spell pierce is ever getting anywhere. Yeah. Okay. So now they're down the upkeep, right? Or five five exactly. Yeah. The last the last game's gonna have to be played really fast. <laughs> Let's block. I think I can do it, but Did 
Okay, it's a bit. Uh, okay, let's relax. It's a bit uh, sad to have to play fast because it's much more interesting to discuss about lines. <laughs> yeah, that is that is true. But also losing for no reason is. <laughs> Okay. I'm gonna do this actually, because I feel like that's the holding up the strands is gonna eat a bunch of my clock. Like having it, I can't um, and F six if I have that. Counter spell would, would be so good. Oh. You, if you don't draw land, you need to go brainstorm find it. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Perfect. The the problem is like <laughs> this game could go on for twenty turns, right? And uh, you know. So next turn, uh, hook. Pass. Tap land pass. Yeah. Hook, hook, tap land attack pass. Yes. If you draw counter spell and tap land. Okay. I already knew I was drawing that. I think. Oh yeah, you were brainstorm. Kids, spam practice. Yeah. <laughs> also, I have, I have a pretty good yeah. internet connection, so that definitely helps. Yeah, game will finish with uh, you with more time than him. On clock. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Okay, so next turn, uh, first the brainstorm uh, hawk, and then probably tap land. Yeah, or hold up counter yeah. if you draw it, uh, you draw and tap land. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We'll, we'll have to go to discard if I do that, right? But... That's fine. Oh, remove soul is good. So what am I discarding? Journey. Remove all their uh, hunter. Yeah, it's best possible. Oh, it's okay. Ah, I hold, I hold W. Hmm. And this is not a blue gate, it's a white gate. So next turn is just Guardian Tap Go, I think. Yeah. You can. I can brainstorm in response to duress. Also end of turn to save mana. I'm not gonna do it end of turn, I don't think. Because then you can double time. Oh no, you I don't have another just... gate, so. Yeah, yeah, you can just play one land. Yes. Okay. Oh what no, they're that? gonna have an edict. That's okay. Maybe. I don't want to do it like this. Look. Sorry, cat from graveyard also. Yeah, I'll do both the cats, I think. Yeah. Okay. Three, six, three, six. I'm not going to counter okay. anything that is. Like, I'll counter an emblem and a, and a sweeper. Like, everything else I let resolve. I, I'm thinking if you can double pump. I'll do the next math. turn if you give Basisk, uh, you can double pump. Oh. And have counter. And uh, hold up the counter spell. Yes, he counted it. Just double pump the cats. Yeah. Well, I know. Two. <laughs> Plus. No more snuff out. No more snuff out. So if they if they play a monarch, I let it resolve, or a, a mendicant, yeah. I let it resolve. We can just kill them. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> that was a four one. All right. I think it was a funny league. We had uh, adrenaline at the end, 
Yeah. We had the good choices. Yeah, that was fun. Thank you for uh thanks for hanging out. That was a it took a long time. Let's see how long did it take? Two almost three hours. Holy moly. Well, usual popper league for <laughs> game. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Do you want to say anything before we uh we send it off? Yeah, I was very glad to do this. Uh, I found it really funny and it was a pleasure to get to talk to you directly, voice to voice. Yeah, thanks for uh, thanks for hanging out. See you later. See you.